Hey, Kenny. Hi, Lisa. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Let me get my voice going. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Just trying to get set up here. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Ugh, dropping stuff. Ugh. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hi, Gaga. Julie. Amanda. Ray. Can y'all hear me okay? Does it sound okay? Hi, Marguerite. Marguerite. Mashi. I'm not going to can't get it right. <laughs> Marcialino? <laughs> it's a pretty name. Thank you, Ray. Hi, Molly. Let's see, Pamela said hi to Lisa. Sound is perfect. Thank you, Kenny. So, yeah, well, I have a couple different projects. Um, I got a glare on this book. Let's let's do this over here because there's a, oh, there's still a glare on that book. Ah. <laughs> uh, I got another copy of this. I have a copy of this, but I think I'm going to put this in a, 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 a lettering book that I'm putting together. So I'll probably, you know, deconstruct one. <laughs> Hi, Rosa. Hi, Andrew. How you doing? Hi, Melody. Good to see you. And back, Elaine, Janice, Mrs. Gigi. Anybody I'm missing? Thanks, everybody. Hi, Zane. Hi. Um, this is an old book. I've had this book since, I think, what, when did it come out? Let's see. This came out in 1994. So I've had this book since 1994, and I saw this copy at Books A Million on sale for five bucks, marked down from ten. So I had to buy another copy of it, you know. You just got to when it's $5. It's a good book, too. I'll, I'll flip through it. It's been a while since we've done any uh, calligraphy lettering, other than me just lettering something while I'm I'm doing a project. But, um, hi, Janet. Janet, I only got to go to my books a million. We didn't get to go up to Denise's this weekend. It's too much stuff going on downtown Atlanta, and we didn't want to get stuck on the highway. <laughs> so we, we're going to go next week, next weekend. So we're going to go up there next weekend. So I just went to Barnes & Noble, I mean uh, Books A Million, and uh, I got this book, like I was just saying, it's from 1994. I have, the, I have a copy from 1994, but this one came out, um, on, it was on clearance for five bucks. So yeah, I got I got it. Hi G. Yeah, yeah, we didn't go. Denise goes, no, no, I don't want you sitting on the highway stuck in the traffic. <laughs> so we didn't go. And uh let's see what else. Um I oh and when Pacola comes in, I did find my old napkin journal, so I found that. Let me kind of move my camera up just a tad. There we go. I did find my old napkin journal. And um, I don't know if I, if you know, I, I thought about deconstructing my Jane book and putting it in a journal. We'll see. I also saw something CC Creations did. I kind of want to do one of her little projects in a little different way. Hi, Julie Topaz. There's Pacola. Yeah, I found it, Pacola. Yeah. So, hi, um, hi, Julie. Happy Marvelous Monday. Pacola. Yeah, I found it. So, so got a lot of things to show and tell. And I got one little project. And then I got uh, maybe, I don't know if I want to deconstruct my mermaid book. Like I have my big Jane journal. But I did get it. And if, if my mail comes to, I got to run something out to the mailbox. If my mail comes today, I do have some uh, a jet pen order coming in. So, hi Debbie the Doodler. 
We're going to doodle a little today um, based on CC Creations or Creations by CC. I forget exactly. Maybe Pacola can put her link in. I, I forget exactly. I just have her in my favorites as CC. You know, so it's like I don't remember people's names. Like Janet. Janet's just in my favorites as Janet. You know, so I can find people on YouTube that way. But I don't have necessarily have their real YouTube names memorized. So... Hi, Flo. It's been a while, Flo. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a week of Sundays. I <laughs> uh, hope you're doing well. And Nancy, Karina, so Christine, if you're uh, new to the channel, I'm Dee Dee. This is Coffee and Art in the Morning. I also go by Inky Well, Inky with an I on uh, Instagram. Or you can just look up Dee Dee Willingham and you can find me by my, my real name. Um, so anyway, um, if you're just joining us or haven't been here before you're watching the recording, I do spend a little bit of time before we start a project, um, saying good morning to everybody. And so if you're waiting to see something, we do something, just fast forward. <laughs> the people that are here are chatters too. We're chatty people. We're very chatty. <laughs> Hi, Darla. Uh, and then Janice G. So we have JL Janice and Janice G. Darla. Let's see. Who else am I missing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you're doing well, Melody. Uh, thank you, Pacola. There's CC's um, uh, Creations by CC, I think is what it's called. Her YouTube channel. She had a new video out over the weekend, or maybe it was Friday. Anyway. I watched it over the weekend and I said, I'm going to try this on the show, giving full credit to CC because it's all is I'm going to do a little different. She, she does just doodling and I'm going to do a word just to, you know, make it a little bit of mine, <laughs> but I loved her project. I'm not going to copy her project exactly, but I'm going to copy her technique. So I'm going to show y'all the, the as best as I can do it. I mean, you know, nobody can do another person's technique exactly. But it was so cool, and I want everybody to see, if you think you can't do something, you can doodle. <laughs> you can doodle. Hi from Sweden. Oh, hi, yeah. Hi, Tina. How you doing? Oh, good, Melody. I'm glad. Lurking today, Gargo. Okay. All right. I sent out another big stack of happy mail. I got a couple, few more to do. Uh, hi, Hut. How you doing? Comic book Hut wants me to come back. Oh, cats are playing downstairs. Uh, Comic Book Hut wants me to come back on his show. I might do that this week. We'll see what his schedule and what our schedules are like. But he wants it was fun. I mean, the hut is fun, and and I'll try not to to over talk hut this time. <laughs> but he did. Uh, he was going to do like this interview thing. You know, he he interviews different people, and he was going to interview me. And I don't even know if he got he got two or three questions in there. I just got on and started showing art and talking and no, 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 no. I just let me go on. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, so uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go back on the hut show. <laughs> it was, it was fun. I had a good time. I had a good time. You had fun. It was, it was fun. Wasn't it, Janet? It was fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, he um, he's a he's a he's a real gentleman. When you go on his show, he's not going to he's not going to embarrass you and ask you to, you know, embarrassing questions or anything like that. So if Hunt ever asks you to come on his show, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> so we'll see. I might uh, go. I think it, the next time we go, I go on his show. He's going to we're just going to both draw, draw and chat. You know, he's not going to grill me i mean ask polite questions no he didn't grill me <laughs> he didn't get a word in edgewise <laughs> hi ashley but it was fun i i i really like hut's channel i like his show and uh you know you you got you he's just a he's a i like his personality so and he's been drawing lately um i don't know where's my phone I don't know if i could bring it up on my phone let me see if i can get into his community section on youtube on my phone. I think I can. Let me go over here. 
So yeah, he's been drawing, and so y'all support the hut. He's he's fun, and it's not it's it's comic. It, you know, it's comic books. It's not for kids, guys. None of our channels are made for kids. You know, as as uh, you know, it, it, they're just fun. so yeah. He wouldn't ask embarrassing questions, but I would give embarrassing answers. You would, Janet. You would give embarrassing answers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, let me look up. Let's see. Comic. I want to see if I can bring up some of his uh, drawings. I saw his duck. He did an awesome. Let's see. Here's this channel. Let me go over to community. Okay, here we Oh, yeah, here we go. Look, here he did... Um, Howard the Duck on his last, wait, let me turn down the light because my phone will glare it out a little. There we go. So this is what he did yesterday. So isn't that good? <laughs> I really like it. Uh, have you set any prices yet on your art? You need to, you need to let us know. Have you set prices on them yet? Let me see if I can get to another one. I got to go back. Let's see. So he's done, he's done quite a few. He's got few. Just go on the comic book hut and go into his, uh, go into his, um, what do you call it? Community tab. Go into his community tab and you'll see his art. So, yeah, I want to, uh, I like his Popeye too. Everybody, everybody loves, who doesn't love Popeye? <laughs> I know. I love, I love the duck too. That was a good one. Let me show it again. Go back here. Hang on. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. And it, you look at it on your own phone or computer because, you know, it kind of wants to flash out on my phone there. It wants to flash out. So, yeah. Thank you, Pacola. There's a link to uh, the comic book hut. And, uh, yeah. So, y'all follow, follow the hut. <laughs> he leaves, he leaves uh, breadcrumbs. You can follow him. <laughs> uh, hi, Cassandra. Who else am I missing? I know I'm probably Linda Lee. I know I'm missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Thanks, Flo. Thank you, Flo. There's some of y'all that are just so encouraging to everybody give Dee Dee a thumbs up. Flo's one of them. Tanya's one of them. There's um, a lot, you know, we have a lot of encouragers here. Hi, Abigail. How you doing? Okay. Lurk away. Shh, we won't tell. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm sure I'm missing people, but I, I've, I think I've said hi to everybody I see. Chat. Make sure you have live chat clicked at the top because if you just have top chat, it's not going to show all the chat. So have live chat click. Make sure you're in 720 or 1080p in your little wheel settings. And if it flickers, if YouTube flickers or starts to lag, go down to the little thing where it says live and there's a little red dot. There's a little red dot next to live. If it's not red, you're lagging. So click the little red dot and it'll catch you up okay sometimes that works and uh yeah <clears throat> so those are some tips and hopefully and i mean i go back and watch my show too it's hard for the streamer to tell when there's any kind of issues uh because we can't see any kind of um fuzziness or anything but i can go back and there's usually you know in a three to four hour video i might have a couple minutes here and there that it goes a little fuzzy but it usually catches up so you know we do what we can you know we're just we're just youtubers we're not you know movie makers <laughs> we're just creatives trying to do a little art and cheer people up that's what we're trying to do uh let's see hi coloring with vicky um, I think I said hi to Lisa, Coloring K, how you doing? So yeah, so I come on and, and do a little bit of chit chat before. So I am, I do have a little project that I'm going to, before I, I mean, I'm going to show the mermaid book and I'm going to show my napkin, old napkin journal, which has been deconstructed as well. 
and um, I got some watercolors out because I'm going to do a CC project, CC Creations by CC project. Um, and I will link her channel. Uh, let me make a note to do that. Link CC in description. In description. And I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm also going to link Hut so that if um, y'all follow Hut, so if we do another show this week, we haven't scheduled it or anything, but we he talked about it. If we do another show this week, y'all can go uh, watch the show and get not get a notification, right? Get a notification that I'm, um, you know, if he goes live. So anyway, again, let's see what we can do here. I also pulled out our a thousand one ways to be creative. I'll try to get to this today, or we'll do it on I mean Wednesday, either one. I stream every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern for about three to four hours, um, sometimes a Friday, just depending on what's going on, but every Monday, and I come on about 8.30 just to chat and talk a little before we start. Oh, let me go ahead and tweet, because I always forget to do that. Let's go ahead and tweet that out. Um, and art. In the morning live. Let's put a couple little artist or coffee and artist palette and link in profile. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. So did uh, anybody do anything really exciting over the weekend? I went to I went to uh, Books a Million because I didn't get to make it up to Barnes and Noble uh, up at Denise's house. Well, close to Denise's house because uh, we didn't want to drive through Atlanta with all the stuff going on in downtown. So we said, "Eh, we'll just wait till next weekend." So maybe next weekend. I am. I do have books coming tomorrow uh, from Amazon. So I have three books coming on tomorrow. And so I'll show those on Wednesday. I do have a jet pen, just a small jet pen order coming today. So if I get my mail before the show's over, I'll show that. Um, in the meantime, the only other thing I got was my Jane Davenport Mermaids. Now, a lot of y'all probably seen this already. I've Xandra's shown it. Xandra's worked out of it. And um, I got this book at... Uh, Books a Million on clearance for $5. Again, this came out in 1994, and I have a hard copy from 1994. It's a hard copy, uh, hardback as well. But I do have the one back <laughs> in 1994 in my calligraphy collection, because y'all know I used to be a calligrapher. Uh, well, I mean, I still do calligraphy, but not like um, pre-Windows uh, desktop fonts. <laughs> Type, you know, uh, once the once once everybody could go on their desktop and on and, and print out uh, anything they needed, uh, the calligraphy. Not that there's not still a, a a place for it, and people still pay for it. I still do um, uh, calligraphy on uh, Karate Dojo uh, locally for their big certificates. And um, a couple times a year when someone graduates, of course, now, you know, it's probably hasn't been open for a while. I haven't kept up with uh, the dojo if it will open during, you know, or when it's going to be open back up or whatever. But um, so I used to do calligraphy and get paid to do calligraphy back before, you know, like in the 80s, you know, stuff like that when calligraphy was more needed. <laughs> so... Oh, okay. So you watched here. Okay. Uh, the Harry Potter cut out. That's right. I don't even know who all was in it. I didn't go to one single person that was in the colorathon. Yeah. Uh, who put that on, Molly? Somebody put on a Harry Potter colorathon um, in the coloring community over the weekend, but I didn't see any of it. So I, I don't even know who put it. I don't even, I probably heard last week who put, was putting it on, but yeah. I gave my Harry Potter coloring books away, so. Oh, it was you, Vicky. Oh, okay, it was Vicky coloring with Vicky. So if y'all want to go, I'm sure there's links uh, from, from 
coloring with Vicky's channel onto other people's channels uh, for the colorathon. So if you want to see the Harry Potter colorathon, then go start at coloring with Vicky. And I'm sure she'll have all the links. So I did get this book. We'll go ahead and kind of get started here. I did get this book that I had from 1994 and I saw it in the store. Again, it was, uh, the sale was 10. It was marked down to five. So it was the only one they had. And uh, so I'm going to, I'll just kind of flip through while we're talking here. And uh, just so you can kind of see, it has a history of illumination. It's all about illuminated lettering. And um, it's a beautiful book. It's one of my favorites. It's one, of, I have about, well, probably three favorite calligraphy books. This is one of them. This is one of my favorites uh, for, ever since I got it back in, you know, 94. And uh, so it just kind of shows you how to do different things, how to do gold leaf, um, you know. Remember, this came out in 94, so. And then it has the different letter forms, and it shows you how to, the direction to make the, make the strokes of the letters. Oh, uh, there's a schedule link under her videos. Okay, yeah, I figured there was. Okay, Vicki, yes, yeah, so if anybody wants to, thank you, uh, Pacola. Pacola put a link in there to Vicky's Vicky's uh, channel if y'all want to uh, follow along the uh, uh, Harry Potter color colorathon. So it's uh, it has a lot of step outs, but it's got tons of eye candy. I love this. If I get my jet pen order, we'll come back to this page because I love Celtic. I, I love Celtic lowercase especially, but um, so just different projects, a lot of things on how to do gold leafing, but look, just look at all the eye candy and the little, the little notes and stuff. Janet, probably Janet, do you either have this or you fainted <laughs> one or the other. Uh, so Janet and I both love lettering, fonts, type, calligraphy, uh, some more gold leafing. But isn't it, isn't it a cool book? Hi, Christina. So, yeah. But I just love illuminated lettering. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I was happy to get another copy. Some Gothic lettering. And just the way they did the whole layout. So much overlapping and layers like. More gold leaf. And if you've never seen any of these old illuminated um, illuminated documents, illuminated Bibles, uh, any kind of illuminated book, there was a, uh, at our museum, they had a, an exhibition probably about 25 years ago. Um, the J.P. Morgan illuminated works came through our museum. And if you ever see an illuminated manuscript or illuminated Bible that has the gold leaf on it and see it in person, it's hard to photograph gold or metallic as is. But if you ever see, see it in person, they, they literally glow. It's hard to explain it. They glow. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just, amazing if you ever see them in person so if you ever get a chance to see illuminated manuscripts books bibles prayer books or anything um you know i mean i'm talking like 1100 probably i think the er the earliest one we saw was 900 a.d but anyway uh very very old and they and the, the gold which is real gold um they it glows and I, what is it that they used that's red it not cinnabar what is it that they used it to make the gold so gold i forget now i used to know a lot more about the chemistry of paints and the chemistry and all that um but it's been so long it's kind of like some back in the recesses of my mind 
<laughs> uh, but anyway, it uh, it takes red uh, something. I forget what it is. But anyway, it takes red. I, I want to say cinnabar, but I don't think that's what it is. Uh, to make gold, gold. <laughs> anyway, so just to kind of give you an idea of the book, because I just I just thought the book was beautiful, and uh, um, it's red. Hi, Beth. I stopped by Beth. I saw I, I was uh, getting ready to shut down for the night. I forget what was it. Sat Friday night, and I, I don't remember. Anyway, I was getting ready to shut down, and uh, Beth in my feed in my recommendations or whatever Beth popped up with she was doing something with color pencil and I said oh let's go see what Beth's doing with color pencil because <laughs> you know me I love myself love myself some color pencil so I ran by Beth's um video while she was drawing with color pencil so yeah stop by to say hi so anyway um there is the Illuminated Alphabet, if you ever get a chance, look at Books A Million or, you know, I mean, it's totally worth, I think it's 20 bucks normally. Uh, but I, I haven't looked it up on Amazon. I just happened to come across it in Books A Million for five bucks. But I do have the 1994. This is an, also a 1994 edition. Um, but uh, so I had to get another copy for five bucks. All right. So then let's see. I'm going to, let's go ahead and show real quick my old napkin journal. This is 12 by 12. There's not a lot of pages in it, but this was my original napkin journal. And uh, I took it, I deconstructed it. I took it, it had rings. It was on rings. I took it off the rings, cut down the holes. I don't even remember, but, and it's, and there's not that many pages, maybe 10 or 15 and uh, <laughs> Pacola kept asking me, she goes, did you find, because last week I couldn't find it. Yes, I found it, Cindy. And hi, by the way. Um, and, and so Pacola messaged me, come on, did you find it yet? Did you find it yet? I really want to see it. And so does everybody else. So this was our, oh, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag this out for just a minute. <laughs> I'm so bad. Let me see here, here. Uh, I'll show I'll show the new napkin journal after I show this one. So it's a 12 by 12 and uh, <laughs> and uh, it was the first napkin journal I did. And hi Judy O, how are you doing? Thank you. And um, and it also had stenciling and it had a little bit of collage. So it, it wasn't just napkins when I did this one. This one is just pretty much napkins, a few color book pages, and paint. This one had some stenciling and a couple other uh, things. Hi, Benny. How you doing? Good to see you. Anybody else I missed? So I made this cover, just a collage cover for it out of, uh, you know, out of a watch magazine and this big butterfly. And uh, so I just and I varnished it. <laughs> so This was just the cover had nothing to do with napkins. It's just that I like this cover. So and I think some of them may be out of order. So if they're out of order, uh, I'll tell it. Well, you'll be able to see because I did double page spreads. But if they're. Um, if they're not a double page spread, then they're probably out of order. Thank you, Flo. So, uh, <laughs> so it starts out with napkins, decorative napkins. Let me pull one out. So in case anybody's new that doesn't know what I'm talking about. So you have these pretty decorative napkins, which you can find anywhere that napkins are sold, party stores, Tuesday morning especially. Now, that being said, my Tuesday morning is one of the ones in the country that are closing. Might already be closed by now. Last week may have been as last week. So, um, But my Tuesday morning was one of the ones that closed down. So, um, no, this is probably, well, it, it's... It's not scrapbook paper, Pacola. It's probably a 12 by 12 um, cardstock. You know, I mean, I'm sure it's made. The 12 by 12 papers were always made for scrapbooking, but it's just white paper. Um, there might be a black one in there too, but yeah, just 12 by 12 cardstock. So it's not real thin, you know, it's not real, real thin. So what you want to do when you use a napkin to make a napkin journal is you want to pull off, and there's usually two 
layers on the back. There's that first one just fell off. And I'm going to take a piece of double-sided tape and I just get it in the middle and just kind of tear. And so you want to take off both of those layers before you glue it down because otherwise it's not going to glue down. It's not going to, it's just not going to work. You got to take off those layers, right? A lot of people say this, if it comes out like this nice, I will save this. But if I just rip it off the back, I don't save that, but you can, uh, ink these, dye these, and use them also in your collage. <clears throat> so you also want to make sure that you start, preferably, you don't have to do any, you know, you can do what you want, but I'm trying to give you all the tips that I possibly can. You want to start on white paper because if you start on a color paper, it's going to dull down just so, just so you can kind of see the difference here. Look at the difference between if you started on a, on painted paper or if you started on white paper. Do you see how much more vibrant that is? And uh, hi, Scoobs. How you doing? Hey, Estrada. Uh, anybody else? Carla. Hey, Carla. I was talking about you a minute ago. You and Flo are always so encouraging. So, um, yeah, you want to start on a white background. If you're going to glue these down and then make a little world out of them, because as you can see, <laughs> it does make a difference. So you want it as vibrant as possible. So all these right here, put this up here is my little sample for what I'm going to do in a minute. Uh, you want to um, start with a, on the, a white base. And I think that's what I started with all these. So and remember now, these are probably <laughs> eight. I don't think I dated them, but I think they're like eight years old. A couple of them aren't finished. Um, and a couple of them have um, got other paint on them or stuck a little bit, even though I did use matte medium. Now, here's the thing about using napkins. They are textured. So the texture has a tendency to want to stick your pages. Um, I really haven't had much of an issue with it, you, you can kind of hear it kind of, but it's not really sticking so much. It's just kind of the texture. It's kind of like Velcro. You know how Velcro will, um, you know, loop together. That's kind of what the napkins do because of the texture of the napkins. So it's not like the matte medium is making them stick or anything like that. It's because of the texture of the napkin. And especially when I've had these, I finally found it like jammed in with, you know, I don't even know how many other journals. And um, so, you know, it, it'll have a tendency if they're really pushed together that they're going to stick a little bit. I don't care if this, you know, this was, these were projects we did on the show. I'm not going to frame them and hang them in my house or anything. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that so that if you, if you do get napkin journals that sound like they're sticking together, it's more than likely, unless you use Mod Podge, you don't want to use Mod Podge inside of journals. Um, it's more than likely the texture that you've used that makes it stick. Okay. All right. So here uh, again, I have a couple of little, these right here, these butterflies and the scissors right here. These are from my uh, cameo silhouette cutout, you know, my machine, my her majesty Camille. And um, so the napkins are on the base. And then I just made a little garden in this one. Again, these are got to remember, these are a little simpler than my more, let me find one here, more complicated <laughs> ones. Because um, this was these were my first ones. So we, we went to something like this now, right? But um, these, were, these were much more simplified, very simplified. But you can always expand this, right? You can expand this. So here's one where we use some stencils. So the napkins are these flowers. These poppy flowers are the, are the napkins. They're stenciling, stenciling, stenciling. This is a piece of the poppy napkin right along here. And so, and then the drips, we did drips to make it look kind of like you're looking into a close-up of a little garden. And I should, I could, now I'd probably put a spider in there, right? I'd probably put a spider in the spider web now. But anyway, uh, again, um, so here's another one, the napkins. Oh, uh, let's see, where's the napkins? It's somewhere in the very back, not a lot. Then there's stenciling, more stencil on top of everything. And then one big bird. This is a, um, this is a, what do you call it? A, 
cameo cutout or well someone might have sent me this one i'm not sure if this is a cameo one so just so you can kind of see now here this is what i'm talking about these two pages they're not these don't go together so the other half of this one and the other half of this one is out of order somehow but um again here's a owl stenciling a collage bit all these flowers here are napkins. I hope y'all are seeing okay. All these flowers here, napkins, stenciling, um, the butterfly. I'm not sure. I'm feel, I'm trying to feel of it. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Then this one here. Oh, wait. See, because this goes this way. Okay, so this one goes this way. I have it sideways. So these two go together. And again, um, a lot of stenciling. Um, it, we have, we went on a stencil kick for a while. <laughs> so there's more stenciling and napkins. Okay, so here is, this is a part of, oh, is it the, yeah, there we go. Look, see how those attach right there? So those go together. These two go together. Then this one goes with this. And I don't know where the other half of this one is. And so here's what it starts out as. And this is the same even in my uh, in my newer napkin journal. It starts out with just gluing down napkins. You glue it down, then you, you invent a world. You can stencil. You can collage. You can add color book pages that you've colored. Again, I recommend if you use color book pages, which we used a lot of color book pages from... Um, Oh, why do I always have a time remembering her name? Um, Juliet Crane. Juliet Crane's book. If you use a ju if you use any kind of a color book image, you want to color it because then you're going to be coloring over texture. You want to color it off the page and then glue it down. There's been a couple times where I've added or a little bit of shading or something. But for the most part, try to color it off the book and then glue it in. So, but it just starts like this. It just starts with gluing down. It just starts with gluing down napkins. Again, this one hasn't been done. This one is halfway done. Napkins, these birds, these are napkins. Then we have paint, we have stencil, and we started adding some collage. But then, you know, you, you see, this is, you got to work past the uglies. <laughs> you got to you gotta past all this. So this one is um, kind of almost finished. This one was, um, you know, all the flowers you see are napkins. All the flowers you see are napkins. And there's stenciling and uh, these rose stencils, some collage. And uh, it was all very bright. So look on the bright side, kind of painted it in, right? I haven't even added my watch hands to this yet. So, and I probably won't now because, I mean, this is kind of, it just kind of shows you, kind of shows you what um, what we did. Okay, so this one, we started with the magazine girl. And again, I don't use them too often. But, you know, people go, put a girl in there, put a magazine, you know, add something. So, okay, I'll do it. So, <laughs> And uh, so I think we use some of the colors of her clothes as the inspiration. Okay, the the jars here, those are napkins, and so are these yellow lemons. So the, the jars and the lemons are napkins, and then everything else we painted in. And then glued her in, painted her in, stencils, um, just some little dots and squiggles. And so you can kind of see, and there is a little bit of a glare on it. But I think you can kind of see. Hi, Joan. Anybody I missed coming in? Thanks, everybody, for popping in. Um, I really love this page, even though she did. It looks like she has fangs, but that's just <laughs> it's just some of the lipstick. Uh, her lipstick has got, uh, you know, stuck on something. But um, she doesn't have fangs, although she could because that would kind of look cool. Should we give her some fangs? Let's give her some. Although it's kind of not in her. In her teeth there. Oops, there's a little piece of napkin there. <laughs> but anyway, and then the gold here is a gold paint 
um, and just uh, done with the brush and just there's nothing really to it except just dipping the gold in the paint and doing some bamboo and some bamboo leaves because look how pretty the gold looks. So that's just some gold acrylic paint and we just free handed it. These flowers here and this right here, that's napkins. Again, if you're just joining us, I'm looking, we're going through my old napkin journal from, uh, I don't know, eight years ago, maybe. Okay, babe, can you, yeah, okay, the cat wants to get on here. Um, no, no, can't go over there. She'll unplug me. No, okay, gonna have to get down. You're stepping in the paint. Okay. <laughs> cat wants to come up and make an appearance. Um, so this one right here. These little um, palm tree things here are napkins. And this one, I made it into a little fairy forest with little fairy stickers. Um, and there's a famous person that did all these uh, fairies back in, I don't know, turn of the century or something. But anyway, there was a, some sticker sheet with all those little fairies. So I just turned it into like a little fairy forest there with the napkins as the base. Bye, Benny. Hi, Nanette. How you doing? I'm just looking through my old um, napkin journal. And I got to tilt it because it is flashing out just a little. So, and then this one has collage. And then we have a kind of like a haunted house type thing. Made her a moth woman. And then there's these stairs, uh, stairs going up. And uh, let's see what's next. So, again, <clears throat> the leaves, all this is napkins. And you can see it's much more simplified than how we kind of go now. This one is, I think it's probably my favorite in this book. And um, there's my little Mona Lisa. She's a mute. She's my muse. Y'all know Mona Lisa is my muse. I actually think, I think this actually goes this way. Yeah, I think this goes this way. But um, I got them out of order at some point. <clears throat> but... Uh, so like this is a bracelet and we made the bracelet like the little um, holder to hold her in the cage. But if you notice, there's a little opening right there so she can come and go as she pleases. <laughs> More stenciling, lots of stenciling in this one. And then this one, all the poppies are, um, all the poppies are napkins. Um, and then the Alice in Wonderland, this was off of a calendar of, from the movie. And so I just thought she just looked good in there. Then I have my little hand carved B stamp there. Um, again, much more simple than we add more stuff now. Um, this one right here, this is all napkins. The uh, Not these birds, but uh, somewhere in there in the background. There's, uh, I think, again, this one goes this way. Goes this way. So there's a little Alice going into the to the world there and then the birds are guarding the gates and then all this is napkins stenciling added a little moss to it so yeah so again these were made about eight nine years ago let's just flip it back over there because they're out of order somehow now i'm not seeing oh there it's coming up um so again this one again <laughs> i got them backwards i can goes this way because her wing goes across the page this way so uh, just kind of painted her in, added some paint on her face and her hair and made her like a, a butterfly woman or girl or whatever, stenciling. And then uh, this is all napkin, napkin behind here. So, yeah. And then let's see, this goes. Then this one, let's see which way does this go. That is supposed to be upside down. Okay, so then this one, <laughs> there's a little story behind <laughs> So I have a striped shirt. I have a striped shirt like this. And Hubster was uh, teasing me about, well, which one are you? <laughs> and this is supposed to be upside down because uh, it's an upside down world, right? <laughs> but anyway, I love this page. Um, so again, you know, just uh, all kinds of things. <laughs> but it is upside down. Then I use watch parts as part of the mushrooms. Same thing for back here. So again, this was, um, this was my first, uh, napkin journal. And, uh, 
<laughs> and it was fun when we did it. And then <clears throat> this is the newest one. And we still work in it every now and then. We we still work in our napkin journal. It's fall. I need to glue the spine back to it because we had a lot of this gets a lot of uh, you know use, <laughs> and so I need to fix the fix the spine. But this is from an old 2009 calendar that one of my sisters had sent me uh, back in 2009. But y'all know I don't, I don't do a uh, I don't do a, mm, dated planners oh you're welcome and uh thanks carla and so uh i turned this into a napkin journal so again this is napkins i haven't done anything with this i haven't done anything with some of them but then some of them i'll take color book pages and make them make a little fantasy story out of it right and so um yeah i'll just do a little flip through like this is napkins napkins in the background and then then we glue in our focal points and then paint everything in so everything gets painted in this one has stickles on it and there she glitters so all this fish that's napkin but everything that you see that's painted we we paint i say we because if i did it on a live show you're here and i just say we did that here's what it starts out with just a napkin glued down here's another finished one and um uh, Again, all painted in. Just a napkin here, napkins there. So, and then we can go in at any time and continue on and use uh, some of these that we just have um, napkins painted, I mean, napkins glued in and we haven't painted them in yet. Again, it sounds like they're sticking, but what you're hearing is the, the texture of the napkin sticking to itself. So, so many pretty napkins. So we get it, we get back in here every now and then. Hi, Lydia. Let's see, Tracy, anybody else I missed coming in? Mm -mm. And here's uh, another, so we did this one on Halloween. This is two or three different Halloween napkins. And then we painted in all the mist and the little fairy and added glitter to her. Um, Same thing for the bee, the napkins, the bees and the pop are the napkins. Added some glitter there and then uh, cut her out and painted, pasted her in. So, but it's really fun to do a napkin journal. These peacock feathers are the napkin. Uh, this is a little Juliet Crane girl. This is another napkin, a bird napkin, and then all the rest is painted. Just plain acrylic paint. So, yeah, same thing for this one, Juliet Crane Little Creatures. This one actually has some cutouts on it. And then this one is the Jane Davenport Napkin Girls. And um, so we just kind of made a sky of goddesses kind of thing. So, again, the napkins are the girls, and then everything else is kind of painted in. Let's see here. There's our little elf, and the sunflowers are the napkins. And then, of course, added glitter to them. <clears throat> Same thing for these girls. These are from a color book. And... Uh, these are more Juliet Crane girls. The chickens are the napkins. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of my cranberry juice here. So you can use anything for a napkin journal. It's just that I have this ledger, faux ledger. And so that's what I've been using. Again, it sounds sticky, but it's just the Velcro-iness of the napkins. All these flowers here are napkins, color book, color book, just the napkin so far. Another Juliet Crane page. So did it get a little dark? I think it went a little dark on me here. Let's brighten this back up a little. There we go. So yeah. It's just a faux ledger day book thing from 2009. 
So those are my two napkin journals. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to flip through the Jane Davenport Marvelous Mermaids book real quick. And then I want to do a CC project. And then we might deconstruct this. I'm saving that for last because whatever time we have to do that, you know, we'll see. Uh, I will show, I'll re-show a little bit. I won't go through the whole Jane junk journal that I deconstructed my Jane books and made a, a binder out of it. Um, but I'm thinking about deconstructing this one and putting it in, taking the rings out. I mean, taking this apart, putting rings <laughs> and uh, adding this book, adding this book to this book. And then you can work the pages and at the same time, I know people are going to freak out if I cut it up. I'm just going to say, I know you will. Uh, and I also, <laughs> also want to do the fabulous figures. So I have both of those. So we'll see what we, what we do with that. Um, <laughs> I know people freak out when I cut books up. but So I'm going to flip through a little bit here. It's a beautiful book. This one has nice, slick, shiny paper papers. And there's Jane right there. She popped in uh, last week into the stream. It was a nice surprise. I've only seen her pop into Xandra's show, so it was nice. And, of course, we got to take a minute to sniff. Wait a minute. <sighs> Have to do – I'm a book sniffer. <laughs> And so she she breaks it all out into, you know, different projects and um, intro. And then she just does like watercolor here and she overlays it with uh, a, probably a white gel pen. And uh, she's got words and just all kinds of, you know, dive into a journal so if I dive into my journal and take it apart, don't email me. <laughs> so she tells you how to draw a body. She uses hearts to help you uh, do the figure. And that's one of her trademarks. I think she's done that since back, I, I don't even know how long ago I first saw her. Um, but she started doing showing people how to do bodies, hearts. And she did that, I don't even know she says here, but uh, yeah. And th this one's all about mermaids, which is this has to this book had to be made just for Xandra. <laughs> you know, I'm going to hold it up a little just to keep the glare off a little bit. Let's see. Am I missing anybody popping in? Thanks, everybody. And remember, put it in caps if you're talking to me. Put it in caps so I see because I, I glance over at chat, but I uh, I know I miss stuff. So, yeah, put it in caps. Um, so yeah, shows you just different ways, different ways to, you know, different bodies. Um, then she does faces here and she shows just different hairstyles, lips, eyes. Look at, I just love the way that's overlaid, right? All the little eyes and faces. So yeah, it's an app on Amazon now. So if you want to get it. Uh, it was kind of held up for a couple of, well, probably about a month because of the virus. But now you can get it at, uh, get it on Amazon. But look at all the, look how pretty they are. And she shows different paint. I'm sure she's using the paints, the matte paints that are in her tubes. And um, which I, I never bought for the longest time because I thought for sure that they would be shiny. But come to find out... Let me grab a handful of them here. Come to find out her paints are very, very matte. So pencil and other products work extremely well over her paints, which I didn't buy for the longest time because most of the time when you buy paints and tubes, they're more uh, artist quality type. They're going to have a sheen to them. They're going to have a sheen to them and color pencils do not play well with the sheen. So, but hers don't. So if you see any of them around, then I think that's probably what she used here. So anyway, um, but it's just a beautiful, fun book. It's just so much eye candy, inspiration. Um, it's just so inspiring how to draw the different 
shapes and just so much beautiful artwork in it. And uh, so I like to take the book apart and put it in a <laughs> put it in another book. Uh, so that's what I did with uh, two or three of her other books. Well, actually three, I think three of her other books. I took them apart and put them in a binder. Well, first I started by putting them in a, in a sketchbook, actually. I put them in a hardback sketchbook and I, I, um, what do you call it? Uh, washi taped it all in. And then it got so full that I took it all apart I took the sketchbook apart. So I've deconstructed two or three different books to make my Jane uh, journal uh, notebook. And I don't know, somebody made, and here she is painting on rocks. Oh, speaking of rocks, I, I've got to show y'all where, where did I put my phone. Um, BDI Beth has some pretty new things on Instagram. I'll need to go look at BDI Beth on IG. Look how pretty. And this one she's doing on, on black paper. I haven't read all the steps. But look at that pretty silver and white. That's so pretty. So I would highly recommend this book because it's just if you don't even do the projects, just the eye candy. Then over here she has some creative prompts um, for you to um, work in your journal. Oh, thank you, Pacola. So what I did with her other books, hold on, I won't go through the whole book. I showed most of it last week. So I showed most of it last week. So this is my big three ring binder that I've combined my Jane journals and my Jana junk vintage papers. And it, look, it's, it's thick, guys. <laughs> so it got so thick, I couldn't leave it in a regular size sketchbook, which was about that thick. The sketchbook was about that thick. And it just, I couldn't even close it. So I took the sketchbook apart and put everything in a three ring binder. So again, I'm not going to go through the whole book, but er throughout the book, I put some heavy cards, uh, scrapbook card stock in it to kind of give it a little bit more stability. But what I did is I took apart the Jane books and then I uh, washi taped them in. They were washi taped into a regular, you know, sketchbook, hardback sketchbook. But it got so full, I just took the book apart and then I have them, then I punched holes in the sketchbook paper and I did put rings uh, if you don't see the reinforcers, that means that they're white reinforcers, but I reinforced all the pages to make it um, sturdy. And then I did tip-ins, flip-outs, and all of Jane's books. So this is kind of my, um, here's the Jane paints. What I did was I'm turning it into kind of like a doodle book and a swatch book. And uh, so there's all kinds of things just throughout. Here's some uh, of her tissue paper that was in one of her books. There's some places where there's her stickers. And so every page, now I'm gonna not going to lie, this took some time to do. Because every place you see washi tape, it's washi taped front and back to make sure it holds, right? <laughs> So you can see every place that I put washi tape, it's front and back. This took some hours. This took some hours to put together. And I'd love to have the mermaid book in here as well. It just, it's not going to fit. Right? So then I have some ink pages. I have smack and dragon pages, lists, notes, um, and just whatever. Then I have some of um the papers from uh, Sister Woman Jonna from her vintage kits. And then like this was in, in one of Jonna's vintage paper kits, the little people. And, you know, Tim Holtz has his little photo people too, but Jonna had sent this one in her kit. So I, I put that, superimposed it over one of Jane's little, you know, you play. It's a, it's a, it's a place for you to play and doodle and paint and swatch. And then I have all the all her books. I mean, all her um, everything's <laughs> in here as a flip and flop, and you know, 
Uh, here's some vintage ledger paper that was from Jonna. And then here's more Jane paper and then my own list. Swatches. Here's my Inktober list. And then I've got, see, look, it's just whatever. And then you can doodle, take notes, uh, swatch. This is from one of the current, uh, that was from one of the uh, watercolor palettes. So everything has got a flip and a flop and a page to play in. And so you just can't, you'll, you won't run out of ideas if you have some kind of a book like this. Here's a vintage old maid card from Jonna. And then this opens up like this. And, you know, it's all, there's a little vintage yo-yo, if y'all know what those are. And uh, more lists and prompts. And here's a piece of fabric from Sister Woman, Jonna. And then this is Jane's small book. If y'all don't know, Jane also has a small um, inspiration prompt book. I took it apart, <laughs> but every page has prompts on it. So you can follow the prompts or just get ideas from it. Or if you could use this as your society of idea collector notebook, you know, take a book apart you like and turn it into your society of idea collector notebook. But it, I, I'm, it's going to take some time for you to put something together like this. As quick as I can do these kind of projects, it took me some time. So you kind of have to be dedicated to doing it and go ahead and um, and take time, <laughs> take the time to do it. Because like I said, every everything is double washi tape front and back. Everything has a, um, well, except for the, this is the heavy card stock. But all the pages have, you can't see it there, but they all have the little paper reinforcers on it. Uh, here's a vintage um, a recipe card from Sister Woman Jana. So, again, it's just, it's everything. You can put everything in it. So, I just kind of want to show you this. So, if I take this one apart and put it in a different book, you will see what I'm talking about. You can put it in a three-ring binder. Uh, what's the prompt book called? Um, I'm not sure. If you just put in Jane Davenport prompt book, it's a smaller one. It's it's this size. So look for that size. I don't know the exact name. I don't know the exact title of the book. So, uh, but that book is, it is six by eight. It's six by eight, the size. Or maybe six and a quarter if, you, if, the, if the cover is maybe just a little um bigger and then here's some vintage papers again this is vintage you see i've got everything has got reinforcements on it because if you're flipping through this book all the time and you have this on thin paper especially this vintage paper this is old very thin right so um yeah and then i made some little um rag flag uh these little things that I make, all it is is a piece of fabric on a paper clip. And I call them rag flags. I don't know. You know, they're just, you know, your own little paper clip creations. So anyway, um, and then she has color book pages in her books and she just has a little of everything. Uh, oh, thanks. There's a, there's a, a link to Jonna's Etsy shop. It's uh, Preppy Crafty Girl, Jonna. I call her Sister Woman. She's uh, uh, Darcy Glam's sister. That's how I met her first. And Darcy Glam and Sister Woman, Jonna, both visited me before. We, uh, we've done a couple of shows together and um, year, some years ago. So, again, this is a vintage painty paper. And then every now and then I'll put in a piece of uh, scrapbook cardstock to give it a little more stability between some of the vintage papers. Say this is all vintage stuff. There's runes. And, uh, then back to one of the Jane's papers. And then this is just one of my Smack and Dragon inking papers. So you can just put whatever. That's some fabric. Another one of my inky Smack and Drags. And so you can make this anything. You can put vintage. You can put books. You can put cutouts. 
and and make it your inspiration book whether you use it for your society of idea collector book uh, which i have a whole nother notebook for my society <laughs> i have another notebook I, well actually i have more than one but i have another notebook this big for society of idea collectors so um but this one is this one's much more inspiring um but you know you you just use it for whatever purposes you want doodling list making here's a little vintage valentine there so i just kind of i wanted to kind of give you an idea here's some swatches where i started swatching my um paint pens my poscas artisans um and throughout the whole book there's different swatches. I've got all of Jane's watercolors are swatched in here. Her mermaid markers are swatched in here. This is just some smack and dragon. More of her little um, inspiration book here. See? And if you do this with the washi tape, then you've got all this free space, right? And you can read the back. So it's front and back. You're not... I'm not gluing down any of the pages so that you get one page lost. Uh, by washi taping them down, you have front and back still available, right? Okay, so here are, um, these are, okay, this is Jane's watercolor set in the gold set, in the gold box. And so I just played with some lettering here, um, brush lettering, which to me is just, you know, it's a marker, a, a, a marker and uh, with the plastic tip where you can do the thick and thin. Again, more Jane uh, swatching. And uh, these are the mermaid markers. Some heavier card stock. And then these came off of her paint um, her sets, paint sets, and I cut out, I cut out uh, the cardboard from the packaging and made it into a tab. So the little, this little heavy card stock from the packaging. So keep your packaging to use as tabs. Here's more Jane watercolors named and written down and a vintage recipe from Jonna. So another one of the packaging, um, packaging real thick you know that's great for a tab and then here's the Arteza watercolors these are my Arteza watercolors and then I also have the Arteza gouache I think I got that uh, <clears throat> in here and so you can just kind of see now I'm going to stop here it's pencil swatches more swatching. These are the Black Widow pencils. So I just want to show, and, and look, guys, I'm only halfway done. I'm only halfway done with the book. Everything that I just showed you is half of the book. <laughs> so there's just tons more. There's one of uh, Sister Woman's uh, vintage uh, pattern girls there and uh, so it's just it's, it's just chock full it's just chock full here's more um paint swatches and again every page of these flip and flop open so you can see it's just lots of lots of uh fun stuff here's the arteza paint pens swatch there um, so I hope this inspires you to start some kind of a, I just like a three ring binder because you can move things around. You can add things very easily, you know, um, thing you can just open your binder and throw something in. So it's, but it's very thick and it is time consuming to put something like this together. Whereas if you want to just do, and I've got is just as packed full as I possibly could have it, right? <laughs> and then I have um, just one of these old smash bands kind of like to hold it all, 
hold it all in place. So if you want to do a, just a book instead of like that's three books plus that's three books plus a bunch of uh, John's vintage papers, then you could you can take either a um, a book like this or a um, I have one handy you know just a sketchbook you know regular hardbound sketchbook. A hardbound sketchbook that will fit this. This is this book's. You know, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to get all your pages in there. Are you like the tab idea? Hi, Devin. Let's see, Nanny Art Studio. Hi, Kathy Berg. I think I said hi to Estrada. I know I'm missing people coming in. So, um, so if you want to take one of these apart, here's fabulous figures, marvelous mermaids. And her books have just so much inspiration. So much inspiration. This book came out. This is her new one, 2020. This one came out um, 2018. And she's got, I don't know, four or five different books. Plus her little inspiration prompt book. So... You know, it just doesn't bother me to take a book apart. It makes me want to use it more. But I understand if you don't want to take a book apart, I totally, you know, don't don't email me. All right. So this this is the Canson XL Rough. So it's got thicker, more uh, heavy duty watercolor paper. And it's got 50 pages. Um, I could probably it should almost make this book if I did take this apart. And what I would do is then. I would keep her cover and then everything will be, I, I, I would take this out. Um, well, here, let me show you here. Should I go ahead and do that? Well, I don't know. Well, we'll see if we can get, have time to get to this first. I take out the spirals and put in rings or you can take the pages out and punch new holes to put in a three ring binder. But if you don't want to punch three ring binders, then you can just, well, here, let me go ahead and show you. You can open up, you can take this off. And this is how we used to, when we first started on Ustream, when we were all doing art journals out of these Canson mixed media journals, we would take them apart and put rings on them and then you could decorate the rings too if you want, but I just want to show you the process. So you'd go to the back and you take the, do that and then take off the cover and then the whole thing will just spiral out. And if you're a bookmaker with those, uh, you know, these, these kind of ring things, you may be able to repurpose this, but I won't be able to repurpose it. But you, you could probably repurpose this. Hey, big guy, now you can't go over there, but you can't go by the cords. You got to stay over that away. And uh, get out of the paint. Okay, I'm going to have to get down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big guy. Uh, <laughs> stepping in my wet paint here that I'm going to use for our project. So um, you got these covers, which you can redecorate, you know, cover up. Like I could take this cover here and attach it to here and still have the rings. So I'm gonna keep this all together still. I'm still wanna keep it together. And here's the purpose of this, is then you can add things. You can add more papers, you can punch things yourself. And I try to find the middle first. So let's just see. I'm just gonna to try to find the middle here. Okay, and then I'll put on this ring. Okay, and then probably about three or four down. I don't go right to the edge because you want it to kind of stay together. So, and you can get these rings, you know, office supplies sell these rings, but I'll tell you the best place to get them and get the big ones and bigger than this too, is over in any store like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, probably Joann's too, but I haven't checked there. You can get go over to the embroidery thread section and they sell these rings because they make them over there or they sell them over there for the purpose of the little white plastic thread embroidery floss cards. 
the little with the hole in them. These they put these over there because that's where they make the little and they put the little embroidery floss plastic cards where you wrap your embroidery floss around it and then you put them on rings to keep your embroidery floss. I know I I love my cats, but you know I'm with them all day. I know y'all you guys like to see them every now and then, but. I can't have them up here. It's hard to have them up here when I'm streaming because they want to go walk through my cords and unplug me. So <laughs> Unless I just come lay right down, you know, which he wasn't in the mood to do that. All right, so now you can see how thick we can add so much more to this if we want to. Look, look how much we can add to that. It's a huge, huge rings now. So we have lots of room. Uh, plus, and you don't have to use this bigger rings. I just pulled these. I have smaller ones too. But what's nice is now you can do it two ways. You can either you can either um, glue things in your book. If you take a book apart, you can washi tape. I would washi tape. Washi tape your pages in, or you can like the covers. I would punch. I would hole punch the covers so the cover would be there too. You see what I'm saying? So you can either punch holes with just a regular hole punch, right? Or if you can deconstruct a book like I did in the other one and washi tape everything in. So you can do either or. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for a minute because I want to... I've got another Canson mixed media one here. This is not rough. This is just mixed media. And I'm going to do a little um, CC Creations project that she did over the weekend. Malibu's asleep on the floor right behind me. Um, so if you watch CC's um, video over the weekend, I don't want to show it to you yet. I'll show you the, the one that's inspiring me, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. So I, I want y'all to kind of see it as a surprise as we go kind of thing. But, and I will link CC in the, um, I will le link her in my description box after the show. So you can kind of see um, her project. So what I did is she took, she's watercolors and a doodler. Okay. And if y'all have never seen her doodles before, most of y'all probably seen it. it's Creation CC. And um, so I'm I'm going to do something similar, but I'm going to use it like different colors. And I'm going to do some different doodling. But I want to kind of just do a project because I was really, I just thought it was fun. I said, let's just show, let's send everybody over there. If you want to see more like what I'm going to show you, you need to go over there because... Um, I'm just going to kind of do a riff on hers. All right. So I'm going to use my little um, currants. This is the currants um, by Prima little set. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of something here. So do y'all have any questions? Are we good? Uh, Ravathi, Ravati, hi Ravati. Anybody else I missed? You're going to play along, Janet? Okay, play along. All right, play along. I'll tell you everything we're going to, you're going to need. Some watercolors, just whatever colors you want. And I'm going to use, I think this is the pen she used. It's a Signal Uniball. I think it, I think she uses a seven. Uh, no, I mean a 0.5. Mine's a 0.7. I do have a five as well. Um, but I thought about making it, I wanted to make it thick enough so you could see it on camera. She really zooms in on her projects and she does a lot of great editing on her projects. So you're getting to see some close up far away. So if you like what I'm going to do, go watch the originator of this idea of CC. But I just wanted, because I loved it and I thought, she is very inspiring. Cece is very inspiring. So I thought you guys would, if you don't know her and haven't seen, you know, and again, she's going to, she's going to do hers different, but I'm just want y'all to get the idea. So this is just a, a gel pen, a uni, Signo Uniball gel pen. And uh, it's uh, series 207. And it, this one is the 0.7. I think she uses a 0.5. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my watercolors, and I'm going to, she, she really takes a lot of time to kind of 
you know, get her watercolors going this way and that. And I'm just going to kind of want to show, I want a more swatchy kind of a idea. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to make kind of like little mountain kind of thing here. And, uh, oh, I got to get a Kleenex to clean my brush as I go. So I'm going to just, I'm going to swatch mountains and then I'm going to do a little blendy thing. And then I want, I really want to get to the, uh, I want to get to the doodly part. Okay. I, re I really want to get to the doodly part. So uh, this, I just want to swatch some color. Very simple. Not anything fancy. And you could use whatever set you have or any colors you have. Right. So I'm going to just swatch this. And then I think I'm going to turn it upside down to do the others. Let me wet this again. So I'm going to do the second row. And I'll probably end up cutting this down and, and maybe putting it on another piece of paper. But uh, let's add a little bit more on this one here. So, yeah, Cece's very inspired. If you like doodles, you will love Cece. You will love, see, and watercolor. If you like watercolor and doodles combined, it's like a twofer. She got she has a twofer thing going on. Okay, so there we go. So I got some different uh, little swatch things going on. Maybe I'll make this one just a little further down. Just so it kind of meets there. All right, so now I think what I want, I want some kind of lighter colors in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of water in the middle here and I'm going to pick a few of the colors here and just kind of, and I'm going to pat them out. I'm going to tap them out, you know, I don't want them too dark because I want, because what I'm going to do with it on top. Oops, I don't want to make mud there. Clean my brush here. Let's get a little bit of water in there. And then I'll, I'll probably put a little bit of, of water uh, sprit, uh, drops on the other watercolor to make it kind of drippy, you know. Let's see what other color blue do I want. Um, maybe this one. And then maybe another green. Okay, so I just kind of want it to kind of run together, but not quite touch the little mountains. Maybe a little bit more of this blue here. Not too much. Can't get it too dark or what I'm going to do on top is not going to show. Okay, so there we go. Just This is just a little, little Sam. Hi, fly. All right, so now, while because I spritzed little water droplets on those little hills, now I'm going to take my Kleenex and kind of pat that up. And hopefully we'll have little specks. There we go. Little specks in there. Now let me hit this with the heat gun. Clean my brush. What is it, baby? He's down there howling. He wants to go outside. And he they don't get to go outside except on their harnesses. So he's gonna have to wait. All right. So heat gun. So if you're just joining us, this is my CC Creations inspiration watercolor doodling project. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in again here. You have to really have this 100% dry now. The water droplets up there. I'm going to dry the back too. And Cece, I think, does all hers on watercolor paper. This is just heavy, you know, this is mixed media paper. And it's not very, it's got a little texture, but not like watercolor. Maybe, maybe like uh, the smooth, the uh, hot press watercolor. So, uh, all right, let's zoom in again. All right. So now what Cece does is she does all these kind of swirls and doodles, right? 
and then I'm going to do the same kind of technique she does, except I'm going to do a word. I'm going to do a word, and then I'm going to show you she adds gold, and you'll see. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. But if you didn't see her project, this is my, this is my a take on it. So I'm going to move this watercolor out of the way here. Let's just move this out of the way for now. Okay, so I'm going to write a word. Let's make sure this is dry. Wait, hang on. So I thought a good word, I mean, I this, you could pick any word, you know, happy, joy, you know, love. I'm going to go with wisdom. So I'm going to hopefully fit this in. <laughs> but I'm going to make this very loopy. I'm going to make this very loopy. And that's what she does, okay? And then loopy here. And um, so I'm just going to put that, you know, very simple. Just write very simple cursive wisdom. And then I'm going to make some areas where I'm going to have some dark blacks. Again, you have to go watch her show. I'm, I'm, this is totally CeCe's, Cece's creation. And I'm going to do some other little loopy bits. Okay, maybe a big swirl for the dot in the eye. Some loopies. So then, after you do this part, let's put a little loop on the S. Let's make this D come down a little. Put a loop on top. So I'm just kind of making some thicker areas. Okay, let's make some loops on the M. Hope you all can see this. I want to stay in camera here. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Hi, Kenneth. Then I'm just going to take, um, let's see, I'm not sure which kind of pen she used for this part, but I'm just going to get out a, um, like a Faber-Castell or something like that black brush. Let's see, Here's, is this a brush? Yeah. All right, so now what I'm going to do is all those areas that I made thicker, I'm going to go in and fill them out, fill them in. Okay, so I'm going to make thicker areas of black. It looks so pretty. Wait till y'all see. Wait till y'all see how pretty this looks. If you like doodles, you will love this, okay? Let me take off this one thicker bracelet here. These are bracelets that Boo made for me years ago. Actually, let me take them both off because they're connected. Uh, Boo made these out of the Silly Bands for me years ago. All right, so let's stay in camera here. So now I'm just going to go in here and fill in all those loopy areas. What is it, big guy? I hear you meowing out there. I know you want to come sit on my table. And this, uh, the Faber-Castell is a permanent black. You probably, I'm, I can't remember what she used for the thicker black. It may have just been the same pen, but I... Okay, you're going to have to stay over here, honey. If you want up here, you're going to have to stay on this side. You have to stay on this side, okay? <laughs> you liking this so far? And again, you can do whatever you want in the background. Color-wise, just some splashes, just some, you know, splotches or whatever you want to do. Okay, so there's a little bit of blue there that kind of distracting me, but that's okay. I think I'll come make that a little thicker. And she takes her time and she just does a, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see when you go watch her. <clears throat> so I'm going to do these first little areas of dark, thicker dark. Right here on the S. I just thought it'd be fun to do a word instead of just, you know, just squiggles. And she and trust me, her squiggles are not just squiggles. They are very, they're all very purposeful, and her doodles are as well. So yeah. Just shout out to CC today. Um, this big 
the D comes around this way. Let's add a little bit there. And then up here on the W, let's put a little. Oh, I don't see anything in caps. It's awesome already. Yeah. I don't see anything really in caps. So um, if you all have questions, put it in caps. Make a nice big black area up here. And take your time, guys. I'm going a little fast. I'm going a little fast so you can see more of everything. Okay. Let's see. Let's put a little bit there. I got my windows open. If I need to turn on the air, pretty. Oh, I gotta move something out to the mailbox too. Oh, it's, it's only ten. We're good. I was hoping that uh, if I'm still streaming by the time my mailman gets here, I do have a little jet pen order coming in. Are you gonna now? You want to get down? Uh huh. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. Here's the O. I'm going to make that come down a little like this. You can do whatever. Again, it's doodling, you know, doodling on watercolor. And it just looks so amazing the way CC does it. So I said, oh, I'm inspired to do this. So I'm going to. Put it on my show. Okay, let's do a big here. And if y'all missed earlier, if um, now we have like 250 people here. If you missed earlier, you know, I do a little chat, pre-chat before I start anything in the morning. Um, the comic book hut is probably going to have me on his show again this week. One night this week. I'm not sure what we haven't decided yet. But um, so if you don't follow the comic book, follow him so that you all know. I mean, follow him because he's awesome, too. But I mean, but if you want to get notification and uh, if, I, if I go live on his show this week, I had so much fun on his show when he did his interview with me. And again, I talked my head to clean off. I showed all my art and he didn't really get to interview me very well because I was just like. And he just let me go. He just let me talk and chat and everything. Hi, Colleen. Hi, jo uh, Joan. Anybody else? Uh, Brooke. I know I'm missing people. Arlene. Thanks, everybody. Kalora. Hi, Kalora. I haven't seen you in a while, Becky. How are you doing? Um, so uh, go uh, follow um, <laughs> the comic book hut, and hopefully I'll be on his show uh, the, one night this week. And we're gonna both draw. We'll he'll he'll be working on his drawings, and I'll work on mine. Let me see if I still have he did. Yeah, here I showed it earlier. So this is one of uh, Hutt's. He did the Howard the Duck. Let's see if I can get the whole thing there. Um, anyway, Howard the Duck. Um, he did this on his show last night. So he's he draws and uh, and uh, interviews people, different artists, and reviews comic books. And he's I just think he's fun. So um, you're doing okay, Claire. Good, good to see you. I haven't seen I haven't seen anything new on your um, Instagram, Kalora. So I'm going to try to do that this week. Hopefully, we'll we'll get it both in our schedules, and uh, and I'll be drawing something. I don't know what yet, and he'll be drawing something too. So it'll be fun. Uh, all right. So the next step, then she kind of adds a little. Just different little, um, like, let's see, where do I want to put them? Just maybe some little, little loopy bits. Again, if you're just joining us, we're, uh, we're doing a little um, shout out to, a little shout out to uh, CC Creations or Creations by CC. So a few little things like this, maybe a couple over here. Since I'm doing a word, I don't want to get too crazy with things that I can't, you won't be able to read the word, right? So, uh, but she has lots of thicks and thins. And then she also does gold. So that's my next thing I want to add. 
I think. Let me see. I'm looking at her sample. I'll show you her sample or what I'm using for inspiration after I get done. Um, all right. So now I think she also is real good about like any edges that are a little thick. She, she blends them in. She makes sure they're all blended together so it's not like a harsh like ending to a, a, a dark area. So she just kind of makes some feather, you know, feathers in it. Are you bringing me a toy now? All right, lay down, lay down. So I just want to make sure the all the transitions are nice and smooth here. I see you, baby. I see you. He just wants to be. You can't see him. He's right, literally right, right there. <laughs> so I just want to make this nice and smooth wherever the thicker black line goes into the thin black line. Let's see right here, maybe. Maybe a little thick something right here. Let me do that right here. Just transition this real smoothly. All right, we're going to get into the doodles here in a minute. His face is like on in a little pause right on my paper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to move it a little bit, baby. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, the background's watercolor. Yeah. Okay, so now let me get my sample thing. I keep letting it go to fade off here. Okay, so now I want to get my goal, and I'm going to use the um, Calero. Um, Fine Tech, it's, I think it's, you can call it either one, the Fine Tech Gold. This is the best gold watercolors I've ever used. And you can see I use certain ones more than the lighter colors. But I am going to go ahead and get this one wet right here. I'm going to use my water brush again. So the next thing I see, and I, I might be doing it out of order. I don't really remember exactly the order she did everything in. But, um, yeah, then she added, She has gold added in. And uh, I haven't got to the doodling part yet. The letters in your own personal sliding board. Sliding board? I'm not sure what that is. You mean like words that are on board that slides? <laughs> so then she always has touches of gold. She always adds gold. I think she might be using, she might have a specialty gold. Now that I think about it, her gold uh, might be like, you know how Xandra has her specialty watercolors? It might be something like that. But I, this gold to me is amazing. All right, so I'm going to find a couple areas and I'm going to add the gold. Now, you can't touch this, baby boy. Don't even think about touching it. I think my brush might be a little too wet. I'm picking up a little too much water. Oh, I'm sitting on my foot. Let me get a brush. Let me get a Kleenex. <clears throat> I don't want to pick up any, any excess water. I want it on, on the dry side. And so I'm just going to find a couple areas here. And you'll see when you look at her, I'll show you her sample. Or, well, her project, not her sample. This is a sample. Okay, so I'm going to just add a little bit of gold in. Let's see what else do I want to add some. Mm, maybe some down in here. That's just because I can. <laughs> you can put it wherever you want. So she adds some gold. And she might do some in different stages. She might do a little gold, a little doodle, a little more black, a little more, you know, she might do it in different stages. The video is only like 20 minutes and it's called, um, if Pacola wants to put it in there, it, it's uh, five, in, five ways to keep inspiration, something like that. Five tips, five tips of inspiration, something like that. 
is what the video is called. It's her newest one. It's her newest video. And I will show the, uh, I'll show the project in a minute. Her project. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gold in there. Maybe, maybe I'll put some in here. Now I'm going over watercolor, so I got to be careful not to make a mud, make mud there. Right? You got to be careful. Some rolling over watercolor. I don't think she rolled over any of her watercolor. I think she put her um, gold. She put her gold in in clean areas. <laughs> Yeah, oh, thanks, Makola. All right, let's see. Let's put just a little, maybe right in here. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that much. You can add more, and you can do lots more, trust me. All right, now let me go ahead and dry this. I got kind of a blob right there. Five useful tips to find your creativity. Thank you, Gail. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the Signo Uniball, and I think she uses a 5, 0.5. This is a 0.7. Um, I wanted to show up kind of on camera. So now what she does, oh, wait, no, I think she does, does she do this part first? Or does she do the, I think she does the white dots last. But I'm going to go ahead and do some just to show you. And uh, she uses a, um, I think she uses a white Signo gel pen, but I'm going to use a Posca. And she just kind of adds, some white, you know, kind of like we have our bucket of stars. She adds some white here and there. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in because I won't be doodling over these dark, dark areas. So I'll go ahead and put that in. But she puts some white in. It just gives it a little, just gives it a little oomph, you know, just like our bucket of stars does. So I'm going to add this in here. And the darker, where the paint is the darkest, and try to kind of keep it inside my lettering. Okay, so there's that little, that little, um, little bit of extra. I'm gonna put some of on this now too. And again, be thoughtful, take your time, look it over. I'm kind of hurrying through just so that y'all get the idea, right? So she has little white things. Um, now I'm going to go back to the pen. And here's where she has all the uh, her doodles. And she uses lines, a lot of lines. So I'll go and I just kind of pick something. She, in, in this project, she did a lot of straight lines, straight up and down and horizontal. But like, for instance, around this loop here, I want to do like lines. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in because this is where it really gets tiny here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. Take off this other bracelet thing. All right. Because I'm going to have to rest my hand. So then she takes her very small, she takes her very small 0.5, and mine's a 0.7. So you can imagine how tiny her lines are. And then she does her doodles. And you could spend hours doing this.
I know my hand's probably covering it up halfway. But her lines are very, very, very thin. See, isn't that cool looking? I just loved her. I love the CC look. The CC look. I'm going to show you her project here in just a minute. I took a, I took a screenshot of it so you could see it. Okay. You can do it like she does a lot of straight lines. She did a lot of in this one. She does all kinds of doodles, but in this project, she did a lot of straight lines. I, I want a little bit of curvy stuff because I'm doing lettering instead of um, I'm doing letter. I'm gonna turn it here. I'm doing lettering instead of uh, her swirlies. So I'm gonna kind of do some. And I'm not a Zentangle girl. I never really got into Zentangle. But you know what? Janet streams at one. Ask her to show you her Zentangle book samples. If she will. She has them handy. Janet has some awesome Zentangle sample book. You still have that, Janet? I need to look up at chat. I'll get it out so I don't forget. Okay, yeah. Janet's Zentangle book samples are amazing. All right, so let's see. Maybe I'll do some right in here. And this is why you kind of want the white dots to be last because you want the white dots to be on top. So maybe I'll do one in here. And again, her pen is a 5, 0.5. This is a 0. 0.7. So you, you can imagine how tiny her lines are. Oops, missed that one. I'm going to show you hers in a minute. But I thought y'all might like to see something like this. <laughs> So what do y'all think? Is that kind of cool? So let me back back out again. And you can do it. You can do as many. I mean, you can do way more, right? Way more. But you see how you can start doing all kinds of swirls and lines and just doodles. What do y'all think? Let's do one down here. Let me do one. We'll do this right down here, and then I'll show you CCs. But take your time. Again, I'm kind of hurrying through. This will look kind of like a shell down here. See? All right, now let me show you hers. Of course, go to her show, too. But here's uh, her the, the one she, and she posted it on Instagram. So here, uh, sorry, guys. She posted it on Instagram, too. That's why I snapped this. So I'm trying to, I'll zoom in a little. So here's CC's. So I'm going to add some, see how she has some little black dots throughout too? So I'm going to add some little black dots, but look, there we go. So you see? Isn't that very cool? There's her gold. Lots of lines. Look at this. So follow her on Instagram, but go look at this. Is, she does this demo, this in particular she does this one in particular on our show okay so now i'm going to go in here with the black and i'm going to do little dots here and there do some black dots and she has some kind of floating ones so we could do some floaty ones and of course you can do as many doodles as you want i mean lines and stuff as you want 
but I wanted y'all to see a sample and how you could do this. And it's not hard. It just, you know, you got to take some time, right? <laughs> you got to just take some time. Hi, Judy. I know, isn't it? Isn't it fun? So, yeah, I wanted to shout out CeCe's Creations or C Creations by CeCe. You can find it easy. And again, Picola put in a link a minute ago. And so we just put in a few little dots. And some bigger ones. A couple of bigger dots and some smaller dots. Kind of like you're doing planets. <laughs> but just more strategic and more doodled where you want them. But it's to chill and doodle. You know, you don't want to rush through it like we're kind of doing here. Right? Okay. So I hope y'all like this idea. I think I have a close-up. Let me see if I saved one. I think I saved... Uh, Another one of her. Okay, here's where she's doing one. Let's see. Let me turn it sideways. There we go. So that's this is a screenshot off of her um, channel. Isn't that cool though? So make sure you go watch her video on on it. She's very chill. She's just very chill to watch, too. So, add more whatever you want. More dots, more lines. You know, I just did a few just to give you an example. So there we go. So thank you, CC, for the inspiration, the gold there. Yeah. So there's my CC inspired um, doodle, watercolor doodle, her watercolor doodle. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> It was fun to do. All right. So, thanks. Yeah. Hi, hi, Christine. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, everybody that popped in. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Appreciate it. So, that was my project for the day. I mean, my main thing I wanted to do today. Now, if you want, we can deconstruct the mermaid book. If y'all, no one's going to pass out. <laughs> Before we do that, let's take a little let's take a little um, um, breather in between so I can read because I don't want to forget to read our thousand and one ways to be creative book. Most of the times if I forget it on Monday, I forget it on Wednesday. So I'm going to go ahead and read. Uh, I'm glad y'all liked it. Yeah, I'll leave it here while I read. OK, so um, Every week we read a couple of pages out of A Thousand and One Ways to Be Creative, a little book of everyday inspiration by Barbara Ann Kipfer. And I think I got this at my Tuesday morning uh, some time ago. And I think I told y'all um, uh, earlier that my Tuesday morning is one of the ones closing. They may already be closed. They might have closed last week. So my Tuesday morning is one of the ones that's closing. <sighs> But that's where I got this, I think. Okay. So, uh, and I've, I've just read a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of them every week just to inspire you. And I'm sure you can get this book on Amazon. So we're up to 153. Again, write these down in your Society of Idea journal or um, adapt them to something you might want to do. You may not do exactly what it says or able to do exactly what it says. Um 
but adapt the ideas and make them your own so that you have a little treasure trove of ideas and prompts and, you know, ideas to work on. Uh, yeah, they, they, mine's one of them, Kenneth. Yeah. The gold paint, it's fine tech or C O L I R O. It's made in Germany. You can get it on Amazon, but look for either Calirio or fine tech. It's the same thing. And they have different sets. You can also buy these individually. I think they're like $5, $6 each. I like the darker golds just because they show up better. But there's uses for the, this is the, you know, the set. But you can buy them individually. There's also a, a, a shiny, shimmery, like a pastel set. This is the only one that I have. It's, it's the only one I really need. So, um, yeah, but it has excellent gold. Excellent gold. Okay, so 153. Write in detail about something unusual that happened to you. This might allow you to see the event in a more imaginative way. 154. Can you write a better ending to a bad movie? 155. Make paper airplanes. Now look, you can make paper airplanes. Make a paper airplane. Fold it. And then open it back up and do something like this on the paper airplane and then fold the airplane back up. You know what I mean, Vern? You know, make a paper airplane so you have all the fold lines. Then open it up and doodle on it like this and then fold it back up and see what, ah, oh, that, I just, you know, that sounds good to me. 156, create family rituals that become traditions. And then here's a little inspiration page. Start a journal of ideas. Write down all ideas for new projects. Do not edit yourself. You can refine, excuse me, you can refine the list later. See, now you could do this in like your Jane book. The Jane binder that I showed you, Jane journal, Jana journal, junk journal. You can, where I put all my swatches, you could do these kind of things in that kind of journal. Or if we decide to do this mermaid journal, I haven't heard if y'all really want me to do it uh, yet. If y'all want me to take apart the Jane, the Jane uh, book yet. Um, save meaningful quotes. Note the interesting and strange things that happen every day. Sketch out your ideas. List the books you would like to read. Create menus for your week or a fabulous dinner party, real or imagined. Make up a new recipe. Say facts and trivia that wow you. These are just ideas to put in a journal, right? Junk journal, art journal, sketchbook. Capture your philosophies about life. Write down topics you want to know more about. List the things you are grateful for. Reread this list daily. So there's our, there's, and I move, I move my post-it note over to the next one for next week. And uh, so we just read, <laughs> we just read a couple of pages every week. So um, yeah, and it's a thousand one ways to be creative. A little book of inspiration, everyday inspiration. Barbara Ann Kipfer. She also has another book, fourteen thousand things to be happy about. I don't, I don't have that one, but I thought this would be just be fun to read a few every now, you know, every, a few every week. All right. So am I? Am I getting anybody that wants me to? Uh, let me put some of this up. Wants to deconstruct. Y'all want to deconstruct a Jane book? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we got to back out again. Let's back out. Okay, let's move some of the paint. Make some space. Move the heat gun, move the water brushes, pens, punches, scissors. <laughs> Can I put my bracelets back on now? Okay. You want to do, you want to deconstruct it? I figured y'all would want to. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's move on my Poscas. Move everything out of the way. So we have room. And I'll have to get out the washi tape because it's a, now this doesn't happen in five minutes. So we have, you know, an hour and a half or so. <laughs> You just ordered? You had started this book? Yeah. Okay. So now, will I end up leaving it in here with these rings? I don't know. I might make the rings smaller or I might add more pages to this book so I could add this book to it. <laughs> I have both these Jane books. I should probably put them both in here. Should we put them both in? This is the first one. And then here's a mermaid. But we'll have the mermaid one because that's the newest one. Okay. Are y'all ready? Nobody, nobody faint. You know, it's just, we can always order another book. If we... <laughs> but I find that when I do something like this with books, I use them more. Like you saw my uh, Jane binder, the big Jane binder. If y'all, I'll just show you. I won't go through it again, but I'll show you this. These are my other three Jane books. Look how thick. And I'd love the mermaid one to be in here, but it won't fit. <laughs> so I might end up making these. I have smaller rings than these, but I just pulled these just to show you that you can buy big rings, right? Big rings. Okay, so let's see. First off, how do I want to do this? Let me get out my big... Now, y'all be careful when you do this, and you probably want a um, metal ruler, and you probably want to be very, very careful. <laughs> All right. And you don't have to have a, you know, one a box cutter. You can use a, you can use a, uh, where's my X-Acto knife here? You can just use an X-Acto knife. But either way, be careful. All right. All right. <clears throat> so... I'm going to start by trying to cut right off the spine. So see how I just pulled it away from, okay, it's a little flashed out. Hang on. Let me get my, let me get my lighting back here. There we go. All that white paper that cameras don't like. All right. So now I've just cut it away from the cover there. I'm going to do the same on the back. Just gonna, and she has stickers in here. And some uh, collage papers are in here. So let's see. Let's go right about here, I think. And be very careful. Let's turn it over here. All right. So now we have the block of the book cut out of the spine. Okay. If Jane comes in, nobody faint, especially you, Jane. <laughs> okay, so now what I can do with this is I can cut this down the middle, and I can still leave this attached. I can still leave, you know, these are like the end papers, the end papers with the stickers and the extra paper. I can leave this in here. Uh, well, I might not be able to. Let's see if I have enough space because I want to see where I want to punch. If I want to punch right into the book or do I want to punch into this? I don't know if I can punch into that. Maybe. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut the cover off here in the back. And some of these papers might come off the back page papers. Like these right here might come off real easily. I probably want to take the stickers and take these out. These sheets, I probably want to take those off. Okay. Because I'll want to use these. I'm going to want to use the um, collage sheets and the stickers, you know. So I'll go ahead and take those apart because I want to use them. So we have a sticker sheet. A collage sheet, and then how to use the collage sheet. And see, this right here, this still needs to go in the book because it's it's just cool looking, right? You, or you could cut it up. All right, so I'm going to move this in the back. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Now, I can see if I want to, 
I'm going to see, I was trying to see if I could punch right on those holes. And then I can always, um, I can always, uh, yeah, okay, let me just, <laughs> all right, so let me go ahead and kind of get where, exactly where I want it to be. I'm looking at the holes on the book. Let's, let me zoom in one. I don't, I don't want to zoom in too much because we're going to have the book open in just a minute. Zoom in a couple. Don't forget, if you have any questions, put it in caps. All right, so I want to kind of see, I want to go right in between these two here. And I've already measured out where I want my rings. So I have this ring centered, and then I have these two rings four down from the end. So let me just get a marker here and measure it exactly. And hopefully I can punch. Hopefully I can punch through the spine. If not, I might have to rethink. Okay, so now I've got where I want the holes to be punched in the spine. This will be nice and heavy, so it should hold up. But, you know, if it doesn't, then I'll just glue it on. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can punch here. Might be too thick with this paper. I might have to take that paper off. Let's see if I can fit it on there. Maybe I can. Okay, yeah, just getting it on there. So I'm going to punch it. It's close up to the edge as I can, okay? So now, and again, I'll end up probably painting this, covering it up with, I've got Jane's tissues like this. I'll want to paint it first. I'll want to paint it first because it'll show through. But I have her big tissue papers here. So I can cover this book with one of these. So we might get to that. We'll see. But in the meantime, I want to deconstruct the book. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the rings. And again, you don't have to use this big of rings, but I'm going to just leave them that for now. Okay, so I still have this, the cover with the in, in cap, you know, in sheets on that are glued to the cover. And now I can put this in here. Okay. And again, what I'll, I'll do is uh, I'll, as I'll do the same thing with the back. And this will end up being co covered, painted, painted, papers, and all that. So the whole book will be like a mermaid book. Okay? Yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Jane, if you're watching, <laughs> don't... Don't email me. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, you know, because some people go, oh, my gosh, you're deconstructing a book. Nobody faint. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have this on the first page. And, again, this will get painted over, painted over, and then probably uh, I'll matte medium down some Jane faces on the on the uh, cover so it won't stay like this. But now we have we have areas to play. And now, if you don't want your book bigger, this will get covered up. If you don't want your book pages bigger, then you can always cut this down. You can always cut down a, a sketchbook. This is a Canson Mixed Media, you know. You can always cut down the papers if you don't want any overhang. I kind of like the overhang because that gives me more space. So for some of this, I'll be able just to tear the pages out. When it starts getting where the glue, the glue starts coming on um, from the spine, I might have to do a little cutting or a little uh, blade action going on. But I'm going to washi tape these in. So if it has a little bit of a texture edge, really that's probably going to be useful because then it gives me a little more something for the washi tape to stick to, right? So I'm gonna let's do a couple here. Let's do a few. See, now I already tore that right there. Gotta be more, I gotta be more careful. Doesn't matter because I'm gonna washi tape it in. But you want to, you know, be careful when you're tearing. Okay, so let's do the intro here. Okay, so I have the intro. All right, I'm just gonna set this block aside. 
All right, so now what I want to do, and you can do a couple pages. If you don't think you're all going to fit, you can either add another. I could take another one of these books apart and add it in here because we have so we have so much room. Um, should I go and do that? I do have an extra one. Do I want to do that? Let's see how much space we have. If I run out, if I run out of papers to put this in, I'll get out another one of these books, right? This one happens to be the rough one. Um, there's also just the regular mixed media. Let's get my lighting back here. Camera does not like white paper. Okay, so here's my first sheet. Now you see how much bigger it is than the book right there? Do I need to back out one and maybe back out one so you can see the whole book? There we go. Um, so now I can do a couple things. I can do one page or I can wash it. I could cut this down. I could cut this down and I can get two pages in here. I could almost get two pages in it without cutting it down. So you could do a couple pages or you could just do one. If you, Depending on like the intro here, I might want to do two pages. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. And again, it's not totally up to you. You you do what you want. It's your book, right? So I want this one and this one in here. And you can either do one a little higher than the other so you can tell there's two pages or just have one like I'm going to do sticking out. A little further than the first one All right um, it probably will be easier if I take these rings out while I'm working in washi taping so I'm probably gonna do that because they're gonna get in my way but just I'll leave them on the cover just so you can see them okay so I'm just gonna take the rings off while I'm working on the book because while I'm trying to put washi tape in, the rings are going to be kind of in my way. But you can kind of see here. I'll just leave, I'll kind of leave that over here so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right. So now I'm going to come back over here. All right. Now, don't anybody faint when I get some washi tape. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Which. All right. So. I have all different washi tapes. I have this bowl, which has, um, it has some, Di I don't even know, Dina, Diane Reevely tapes and some of the thicker ones. But this also has my tiny, tiny, thin, thin ones, which I'm not going to be using. But I have this bowl of washi tape. Then I have two trays. Don't anybody, don't email me, people. So I have these washi tapes. And this printer tray full of washi tapes. So I've got lots of washi tapes to choose from. I probably don't have as many washi tapes as um, Faithful Mass. But so here's these washi tapes in this big printer tray. So I just got to kind of set it somewhere where I can get at it. And then this, these washi tapes, <laughs> they do multiply like rabbits. So what I try to use is something about this thick. I'm not even really particular about which ones I use. I just kind of pick because the more eclectic it is, the more I like it. So I'm going to set this over here. And um, yeah, uh, you know, I don't, I probably have mermaid in here somewhere, but I don't know where it would be, right? I mean, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where any particular uh, washies are. I'd have to kind of peruse them and I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to kind of pick some different ones and uh, I'll probably pick, you know, let's just, let me pick out, you know, five or six different ones just because that way I can go back and forth. I can go back and forth between them. Let's get this floral, this floral. Oh, is that a mermaid? Uh, no, that's not the mermaid one. Here's a, here's a cactus. There's some butterflies. Um, hang on. There's some smiley faces. These make me happy. Let's see. Two, four, six, seven. There's some green. 
All right, so this should be enough for this minute. I also have, let's see. All right, these will be good for now. If I need, if I start getting bored with these, I'll pull some more. All right, so I pulled these. Let me try to get them all on my fingers. So I pulled these. Let's see if I can get my lighting back. These will work. All right. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start by... And then my conscience is next. Okay, so these two. All right, so the first one, I'm going to do the one that's underneath. And I might put two on some pages and just one on the other. But what I'll do is, and it's lots of washi tape. Now, if you want, you could glue the edges. You could glue it in. I just found that if you washi tape it in, um, back and front, that it, it, it lays better when you open it and go to... Um, go to use the blank pages all right so i'm going to put now don't go over the edge i mean don't go over the this edge because then you can't open it so you want to just go just shy you want to go just shy of the very end see what i'm saying you don't want to go over the edge because then you can't open this up it won't lay flat okay so then on the inside it doesn't have to be the same one but you have to do it front and back and the reason for that is right like right now i can feel the sticky i can feel the sticky of the washi tape from on the top and i just tear it you know i don't it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect for me but if you know some people got to cut it it's got to be perfect all right so now you see how this lays down nice and flat okay now i could have i could have taken this and and done the other one on top so in other words so you're not wasting a strip of washi tape but i think i'll just do this I'm just going to put these uh, clouds and rainbows on here because that's just kind of pretty with our mermaid. So I probably should have done this top one first. But let's see what we got going here. Yeah, see it needs it there. So I should have done the top one first. So in the meantime, I'll just add another strip of the... I'll just add another strip of the uh, smiley faces. I could have done that together and just done it as one, but there we go. All right, so now on this first page, on the first leaf, you know, I have this, this, and a blank page to work of a nice thick paper, okay? So now I think I need to move, let's see, let me see get a little organized here. Let me move my stack of papers to the side. So I'm just working on one thing at a time. All right, I'm going to move this washi tape off of here because it takes up a lot of room. All righty. We still with the tour, guys? All right, so now you can kind of see what we got going on. All right, so now on this one, I got this, this. And, you know, you could always do something over here. I could have the contents actually come over here and flip out this way if I wanted to. Okay? So you can have multiple flaps. I'm just going to kind of keep it real simple for right now. Now on the back, okay, so now we're on the back sheet. I'm going to put the content sheet. And I'm going to do it this way. In my other book, in the big uh, in the big binder, I have like I said three different Jane books deconstructed, and they're not in any order. If you this is one of the books that has like tutorials in it, so you probably want to keep it a little together, like maybe within two pages. If if there's a step by step, 
I don't mind it not being in order because I can, you know, mentally picture the tutorial steps without worrying about it. But if you if you don't want to deconstruct a tutorial book unless you keep it in order. All right. But for instance, this page is really before this one, but this one's prettier. So I'm going to have this one next. Okay. And you can also have it. So this is going to be in the book like this. So if you want, you could have this one flap out this way. It doesn't have to be right here on this edge. It can be going out this way along with the intro. So I'm probably going to face this one, but I kind of like this one. So I might want to do that on a separate page. So I think I'm only going to put one page in here. All right. So and I'm going to put it on the outer edge. Okay. I'm going to tape this down to the outer edge. So if this is rough and you don't like the little edge, then, you know, you can just trim that down a little. I'm not so picky that I need to get out a cutter, but, you know, if you want to, you can. So I'm going to put this as close to the inside ring as I can. Okay. And then now I have all this space to washi tape. Now, which one do I want to use? Let me look over here. Let's use these um, flowers. Are y'all with me? There's no way I can cut perfectly. Yeah, well, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to cut it perfectly. All right, so now I'm just going to put down my washi tape. And again, I just tear it. Some of them are a little tougher, but you can usually tear them. Okay. All right, now I'm going to open it. And then over here, got a little bend there. And I'm going to put the washi on the inside here. Just enough, just enough, you know, just don't go over the edge. Because if you go over this edge, you, it, the, it won't open, right? You're going to be washi taping that down, and you won't be able to open and close your page. So there we go. So now I've got, here's my first page. So if I put it in the book, let's go ahead and let's see. I'll have to kind of measure here where the middle one is because I'm not sure which one's the middle one. That one right there by that cloud. And then I have them four down, four down from the top. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be these big of rings. It depends on how much you're going to pack in this. So now on the first page here, other than the cover, which I'm going to paint and cover this up. So now I have it going this way. I've got two pages there. Okay. And then on the next page, which I'm not, yeah, I, I'm going to take it back off the loop. <laughs> you open it this way or flip it, then I can go this way. So that side opens out. Do you see how that works? So you can, you can have it open this way. Or you can have it open out from your rings. So there's that page. Now we're going to go to the next one. And you might want to do, you might like this page so much. You go, oh, i got to swatch all those colors. So you might want to do swatching on this page. I'm going to trim down a little of the rough edge. Because I want this side. Okay. So again, do I want flowers? I kind of like these same flower paper. And you do go through a lot of washi tape. Again, you don't have to use washi tape. You could use scotch tape. You could use uh, masking tape. I just like it, you know. But if you, if you don't have tons of washi tape, then use masking tape and paint the masking tape. Or just scotch tape, and then you won't even see anything at all. Right? You won't, it'll just be clear. Let's get that on there straight. So there we go. So now you have this page. Oh, thank you. Um, somebody said I caught you live. Let me see who that is. Um, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm glad you caught me live. Yeah, it is a beautiful book, isn't it? I, I just know myself. 
I will look at it more, use it more, be inspired by it more if it's deconstructed. You know, again, I would love to have this whole thing in my binder, but the binder's full. So I would recommend putting it in a binder, but, you know, I can't with this book because there's no room. Like my other Jane, three Jane books. Okay, so now I got that and I can turn this over and on the back, what's next? Okay, so let me get go back to my book here and let's take out the next chapter. We're, we're at chapter one. Okay, so again... If you want to keep any of the tutorials together, then whatever you think goes together, you can kind of keep together. Um, this has dive into a journal, and that really doesn't have a, it's not a step-by-step. -step. And uh, so I kind of like this on top. And then chapter one is the C's. And then maybe this one, do I want those facing each other like that? I think I want that so i got these three pages the next three pages again um, i'm going to just trim off some of the place where you know it was attached to the book just very just look very little attaching uh, i need to go throw something in the mailbox real quick before my mailman comes i am expecting a jet pens order and if i get my jet pens order we'll do a little bit of that uh, jet pen in this book but I do need to go real quick. Let me take a quick break, guys, to run out to my mailbox. So I think I want this to go this way. I still like that. Maybe I just want those two. And then this one. I think those two pages go together for that tutorial. It doesn't really matter to me because I can read what it says. Again, guys, if, if it's real important to you to have all the tutorials going in the same direction. But I think I want this to show. So I'm going to put these two pages here. And then when I open the book, the next page here, facing page, is going to have this. So this is my next section here. All right, let me take a quick break, guys. I am going to close the door because I don't know where the cats are. I don't want them up here. Uh, let me run something out to the mailbox, take a quick break. Um, I'll BRB. All right, I'll be right back, guys. All that truck noise was looks like one of my neighbors is getting ready to get a new roof, so that's why I'm not hearing all that. Thank you, Flo. All right, so now these two pages are going to face each other. So I'm going to do I want this to flop this way, this way? I think I want them to go this way. I like them when they go out, it's just easier to work on a page when they go out, but either way. So, let's see how I can do two pages here together. So, I'll do this. Let's pick another 
I like these sunglasses. Let me put these sunglasses down. Okay. Now that I know that I'm going to do two pages together, I'll stick this and this one together. Oops. That. And then the back, so I'm only using three strips instead of four. Okay. All right. Okay, no, nothing in caps. Am I missing anybody? Well, it can be any book that you like, Estrada. It can be any inspirational book. Okay, any inspirational book. And again, if you look, if uh, when I showed earlier, if you missed it, go back and look. Uh, when I showed my Jane and Jonna junk journal notebook, there's all kinds of things in there. There's vintage papers, vintage cards, and the Jane books, and swatches. There's all kinds of things together, all in one book. And so then you know you can just use it then if you want to go through here you can write on here you know you go oh i need a note there i'll throw me a post-it note there you know i mean you can do there's just so much make it your inspirational book then you have your blank paper to play on so now i could like looking over here at uh, little swatches that jane did like oh i love the way she did those swatches so i think i want to get out my jane Let's get out some of my Jane watercolors. And just because I picked this one. And then let's run it down. You know? And then I like, and Paula does those little squares like that, or little rectangles. And I'll just get a little watercolor here. And so I might be inspired to do some little swatching. And I might just take one or two colors and just start. If you water them down, and as you, if you're using a water brush, that it will get thinner and make some space here. And lighter and lighter and lighter. So you can take one color and see how much you can get off your brush. See? All right, so let's take the next color. Is it green? Let's get a real lot, a lot on the brush here. See, isn't that fun? Are we having fun yet? <laughs> All right, let's take another. The purple is next. I'm just going in the order. I'm just going in the order of the little box here. So whatever's inspiring you on the page. Or you might want to read something and say, well, what's the most important thing she's saying here? Um, the importance of creativity cannot be overstated. Situate yourself among your art supplies. I'm in a creative mood, but don't know what to do or where to start. And so she has a little tip. So maybe you could write some of your ideas down here, you know. It's so much fun, Curly. Good. All right, let's do one more. I'm going to do this red color here. Okay.
a little bit of water. So I got those a little, I got too much water now. So let's just keep going off to the edge. It's a lot in that red. So <laughs> you just can play. Okay, so let me find a brush. I mean, a Kleenex here to clean up my brush. Let me hit that with the heat gun so I don't make a big mess. And I may want to come back to this. So let me get a, let me find something here. Let me get a marker. Here, uh, this is one of the food A. It's the, um, you know, it's got the uh, plastic nib. So if I don't want to forget that this is the Jane, this is how the Jane, I call this the teal set. Then there's the aqua set, which is a lighter color. And then there's the gold set. There's really not names to them. But if I want to remember where I am with this, then I can just go over here and just write. And I'll just write teal. So I know that. I know what set that is. Maybe I'll write set here. Okay. So if I want to continue on later, or if I just want to know which set these colors came out of. Mary said, working and lurking. You can always large your rings later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. You can use whatever size rings you want. Okay, so there we go. Just to show you. Um, I could do in here like, oh, you yeah. know, well, let's see. I got my wisdom owl here, my stamp. Let's go ahead and maybe I don't want it on this page. Maybe I want it on, maybe I'm going to want it on the next page since I've already inked it up. I could do my owl here and then I could end up putting my owl un <sighs> under C or get, make an owl mermaid, give it a tail or something, <laughs> you know. So what I'm saying is, is just add whatever you like, whatever makes you happy, your supplies. Um, okay, so now we have this page, right? This is the next page in the book. We got this one, then we got this one, and now this is the next page where we can open up. I got two pages in here, and now I'm going to put this, we'll go in the book here. So let's move that to the side. Now we're going to go to the next page. So I just want one here, so because I like this paper, or I like that piece. So let's see, let's, do I want maybe some of this green, it kind of looks like seaweed i think it's pears actually but if i like the green compared with the these colors the little mermaids have some green in them so i'm just going to tape that down open it up tape it on the back like that now you have that page in. Now I got to do the back. Okay, now I'm I'm at uh, another section. I need to pull up the book because now this is going to be this and this. So they're going to be facing each other. So you kind of, if you want to think about that. Hi, Jane Liter Literic. Hi. Working and lurking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll babble in the background for you. Okay, so now I'm starting to get some of the book, you know, starting to kind of peel up here on the on the spine. So you're either going to want to cut it or just be careful when you tear it out. So now we have this and this. And then she's going to start getting into how to do heart uh, bodies. But then I want this one, maybe the undulating line and this one to be on the next page. So you kind of break it up wherever you want. I'm going to just tear out a few here because we're still in chapter one. 
And you can put one page. All right, that's going into chapter two. So I'm going to leave that aside here. Okay. So you can do a, however, you know, makes you feel comfortable. If you want two or three of the project, like the tutorials together, then tape those three together. Okay. If you want, if you don't mind them being separate, like I think I want this one. And, I'm, and mostly I've been taping on the outside edge so I can fold it out. But you can do it the other way so it folds in. And if you're doing, depending on what you're going to, um, if you're going to punch, and if you do end up punching holes in the book and just putting them in a binder without mounting them on another page, you do want to be careful. Of, you're going to have to put rings. You're going to put reinforcers. I would not, I wouldn't recommend punching holes in this. I would recommend just taping it onto another sheet and then have this either be in a three ring or just on your rings like we're doing in this case. We're just putting it on rings. Um, or you don't even have to really take your book apart if you're doing just the taping in. The reason I like to put mine either in a binder or on rings is that I can add other things in. I can add other pieces of paper if I want to do this tutorial right here or what you know this one if I want to do this then I, I I'm not limited to just that one sheet of paper right I'm not limited to just this one sheet of paper if I have this on rings like this I can add another piece of paper in there and expand it does that make sense I'm gonna lose the light there okay so now let's see do I want this to come this way I think I want I think I want this one to go this way I love both of these though see I love this and I love this so I think what I'm going to do is I want this to be together I want this chapter two to go together like this so I can keep this together so I am going to put this on this page together so that when I open this up, this is together, right? So this is all one little section. You do it how you want. You got to kind of just, you know, see what's going to work for you. But I think I want this to be here. And then when I open it up, I can see chapter two and then the first little project here. And then I'll go on to the facing page. So these are going to get... These are going to get uh, put in. So if you put two pages together, if you're careful, you can use, just use three pieces of washi tape. All right. Thank you, Carla. There's no mods. Let me show your little comment there. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What do I want with this? Do I like this flower? I kind of like this flower um, washi. Washi goes a long way. I mean, you know, you saw how much washi I used in that other, and you got tons, you know, it just goes a long way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and line that up. I'm going to tilt it just a little so I can get a straight. Okay, now I'm going to open the first one. You know, I don't have to go right over her arm if I don't want. Or, you know what, I think I'll do with some of the C, something that's kind of green. And I'll just go right there. I'll skip over her arm and go right there. And then on the back sheet here, I'll go back to the flowers. Okay, so now I've got this is the next page in the book. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. This will be the facing page. Oh, well, let me show you what I got here. It's got this, this, and this, and I can work here, and I can always add, because it's rings, I can add more in if I want to do more practice. Okay, now let's go to this one. I got the next few sheets torn out again. Now this is kind of goes together. This kind of these kind of four maybe. Actually, kind of five. All these kind of go together. So I'm going to divide this up into two. 
So maybe three. Let's see. I kind of want to go with these. I'm going to go with these here. And then these on the next page. Okay. All right. So here's the next page. I want to do these two. And again, this this might be supposed to be on the back and that, but I want it to show. I want to open the book and see the pretty girls. So <laughs> let me straighten out my camera here again. Let's get the lighting to work. All right. So now, do I want these to go this way? I still like the way they flap out. The thing about having them flap on the, going out instead of into the ring is then that's kind of out of your way. So you're working here and the, these are kind of flapped out out of your way. But it just depends on, you know, what you got to kind of think about it. Maybe do a couple of uh, little sample pages to see what works for you, whether you want the, the tutorials, if you're going to actually work in the book. So you can, that's the thing. You can take them out. You can take, if you have it ring bound, you can take the pages out to do any projects. Then you can add more pages, you know. So that's one of the nice things about having a tutorial book um, or a demo book deconstructed. Then you can use it. You know, it's kind of like this is your worksheet. You can take this out. You can work with it. You can add more pages. Then you can just put them all in the binder. So it's more versatile to me. But, you know, don't just go be de deconstructing all your pages, all your books willy nilly. <laughs> that's not how that's not how you roll. OK, so I'm going to just cut off this little rough edge here where I took it out of the book. Because this is not the side that I'm going to tape. The side that I'm going to tape is this side. OK. So, again, I'm going to stack them good, stack them well. Put that there. And now let's see what, see, I kind of still like this blue with the clouds. So let's go this way. Okay, there's one. And let's go in the middle. And, you know, if, if you don't want to, you know, practice on another book if you're afraid to take apart um, one that has <clears throat> step outs. <coughs> Okay, so now we got that. We got these three pages. So now I can go like this. And I can work here. And I can look at the step outs and work that. All right, now I'm going to turn it over. And now I've got the next two sections here. Let me go ahead. So when I open it up, what am I going to see? I want to see this. This right here can go with that, and then this can go on this page. So these will be my next. So this one will only have one. This one will only have one. Actually, it could have two, but I like this. This one could actually have this on it, but I, I actually want this page going into chapter three to be its own cover. So I don't want this buried behind here. I want this to go onto the next page, right? Are y'all are following me? Is this, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of redundant. Oh, thank you, Riri, for the $10 super chat. Thank you. Riri has a little. <laughs> thank you, Bear. Thank you, Riri. I'm going to write you down. Um, and anybody that super chats me or um, PayPal's me in my tip jar, make sure and send me your address. I have Riri's. I'm pretty sure I have. I have yeah, I have. But here's my email address. So if you tip jar, if you don't put your address in the PayPal, then email me and let me know what it is so I can send you some already happy mail. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Riri. I appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the channel. So, and uh, yeah, Kenny, I sent you something out too. You sent me that book. So I try to send I try to send you guys out thank yous for uh, supporting the channel or sending books or whatever you do. I, I try to. So oh thank you, Riri. I appreciate that, Riri. So I think of Didi as a dear friend. Well, you know, we all have known each other for quite some time. And uh 
Oh, I'm sorry. Is Kenny not feeling well? Oh, get better, Kenny. I just saw somebody said something to you about not feeling well. So thank you, Riri, so much. I hope y'all are okay with showing me, showing you these pages. We don't have to, you know, we'll go for a few more minutes. I mean, it's going to be just the same thing. It's going to be the same thing throughout the whole book. I, I stop every now and then just to draw something or paint something so that you can kind of keep, uh, uh, you know, keep some interest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So again, I think I want my pages. I kind of decided, even though I did one uh, going flowing in to the ring, I think I'm, I'm going to want them all to go out. So these have some rough edges on them, but they're going to be covered up with tape. So I'm not worried about cutting that down. Again, this one has two in there. So I'm just getting as close to the center rings as I can. And this one has, let's see, another color here. Let's go with these pretty pink butterfly or butterflies. Why is this? This feels sticky or something. I don't know what's wrong with that one. All right, let's go with um, let's go with this pretty flower. It's a different floral. So I'm gonna kind of has that aqua color in the in the florals. Kind of matches this. <laughs> you don't have to match it. I just, I just kind of pick up something that kind of goes, and put one here in the center. I'm hoping my mailman will get here before the end of the show, so I can show you my jet pen order. But my mailman comes any time, anywhere between eleven and three most of the time. Okay, so. Now this truck that's going to be working on the roof wants to park right across the street from my driveway, which that's going to be hard for Hubster to get in and out. Oh, no. Is it solid? No. What is it? Just move away from my driveway. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so we can get in and out of the driveway. All right. So there we go. So now, so these two are going to be facing each other, right? So we got this, we got this, and we got this. So we got all this... Whoops, let's go back because it wasn't fitting in. So now you see we got all these uh, step outs kind of together. Now the next sheet. So this is going to go in the stack. This one's going to be here. Now this one has the rough edge on the side that I'm, I'm not taping. So I'm going to cut that down. It's, I'm just really cutting the very, very edge off. All right, so this one I'm going to want to go out this way. So I'm going to put the tape on this side. Are y'all? Is this holding your interest at all, guys? <laughs> I kind of like these sunglasses again. Let me use those. You know, take your time picking your washi tapes. You know, I'm not too particular about it, but it it can make you know it can make your book more you if you you know kind of pick the washi tapes that you like to go with which pages so yeah that debbie i collected it for some time uh, okay so there we go so now this will flip over and go on to the next page which these two pages are going to be facing each other. And you can just tell by the, you know, where the holes are, right? So now I'm gonna have this on this side, and then I'll have this one over here. Now we're up to chapter three. We're up to chapter three. Now I could put something else behind here, but I like, look, this one has some eyes, noses, and some uh, more tutorials. So I think I'm just gonna put one for this one, one for this one, because this next page, I want to be a focal page, you know, where I actually see it. I don't want this page buried. I'll put the tutorials on the back sides, right, so that I know when I open them up, there's tutorials. All right, so this one I'm going to trim off again. So um, I guess Janet hopefully is going to show, uh, Janet will hopefully show uh, her Zentangle. She, Janet comes on at 1 uh, Eastern. Uh, her Zentangle uh, sample book. I don't know if it's in a book. I think it's in a book. But Janet has an awesome uh, Zentangle uh, samples that she's made. She has made like every Zentangle. <laughs> She'll go, no, I haven't made every one, but she's made a lot. Okay, so this one, I'm going to want to go out this way. This one, 
I'm going to want to fold out this way, right? Because the rings are there. So I'm going to, you know, get, let's see. Do I want any of the, oh, I still kind of like this one with the flowers and the aqua color. So we'll go with this on this side. So you can see it takes a while. It takes a while to put together a deconstructed book. I think on the inside here, I'm going to have some of this green. I like this. It's just green with the mermaid theme, just even though they're pears or something. It just it has the seaweed colors, so I like that. <clears throat> so there's that page. And then this one right here, I'm going to put it on the outside here, again, with the aqua and the pink flowers on this side. And you open it up. And I'm put some of the green on the inside here. You really have to put it front and back because it's going to be a little sticky edge if you don't. And it just holds it better. All right. So now we got these two pages and they both open out. So you can do tutorials on either page. You can take your pages out to work on them. Right, so let's flip over to the next one. And these are going to be the next two facing pages. So the next thing in the book is this girl with this tutorial on the back. And then there's this one with the eyes on the back. So again, I like these two facing each other. Get out of papers, guys. I'm not doubling up on all of them, right? I'm not putting two on every page. But if I run out of room, um, I'll just... Uh, go into another one of these sketchbooks and take some pa papers out of it and add it. How many I'm going to need. All right, so this where I'm not putting the washi tape. So the next time we see Jane, we'll have to show her this book too. <laughs> Okay, so now these are facing each other. See how they just go? It just looks so pretty. Let's get the, the color back. Could you do this with an alter? You can do it with anything, Tracy. You know, just don't be afraid to take, deconstruct, <laughs> deconstruct a book. You can take a, apart one of your altered. You mean like your, like my altered abandoned book? I don't take those apart because it's all a thing already. Um, it's already kind of deconstructed in its own way because I'm uh, de I'm uh, reverse collaging in them, so I don't take those apart. I have taken, like if I have uh, some abandoned book calendars of the same kind of paper pages that are in the abandoned book, I'll take a calendar, abandoned book calendar apart and put it in the abandoned book as elements. It just book you mean, but you can do whatever you want. You just got to make sure it all fits and what you're going to use it for. If you're going to use like one of Jane's books as a tutorial, her step outs, then you want, you want, that's why it's nice to have it in a sketchbook like this. Cause now you have mixed media paper here you can work on. And if this, this one sheet's not enough for you to do enough work, then you can just take another piece of, you can take another, um, what do you call it, uh, paper, you know, another something out of a sketchbook or mixed media paper, punch three holes in it, because in this case, what I did is I deconstructed a sketchbook, right, or the mixed media, um, Canson mixed media sketchbook, I took it, took the rings out so that I could put my own rings, because if I put my own rings in, then to add something to the book, all I have to do is hole punch another piece of paper with three holes, and then it'll fit in this book, right? Whereas if the, the spiral rings are still in it, you can't really add to it unless you tape in. Okay, if you tape in, then you can add to it. So it just, you know, you're like, oh, good. I'm glad you're liking it. All right, so now we got these two pages here facing each other. And again, I'm having my pages flip out. So I want to kind of move the papers to as far into the middle as I can. Don't overlap your holes, though, because then you won't be able to open and close your book. And then on the outside edges is where I'm taping. Okay, so I, I kind of still like, I think I have enough of this 
kind of pinky aqua floral to do a couple more pages. So don't be afraid to use up something either. Oh, I don't well, I got so much of that left. Okay, see so right there, that's the end of that. So this is all I got left on here. Um don't be afraid to use your stuff up because you can just, you know, either get new stuff or move on to move on to uh, something else. So I have two different washi tapes there. So now that opens up. Now I can go into this one. Thank you, Ashley, for the $5 super chat. Thank you for everything you do, Dee Dee. Your streams always light my day. I love the awesome fellowship in chat. By the way, I've lost 120 pounds. September. Oh my God. Ashley, you look awesome. If y'all don't follow Ashley McDowell on Instagram, oh my gosh, she's such an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ashley. Um, I'm going to write you down here so that I can send you some happy mail. And I know I just sent you some not too long ago, so I um, have your address. But guys, Please send me your address. If you don't think I might even have it handy or if I haven't sent you something in a while, send me your address again so that I make sure I have a current address. If you move, I have no way of knowing. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Ashley. That's so, so kind. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the chat. And congratulations on your 120 pounds. I mean, y'all need to go follow her over on IG. Riri said, Jane does such beautiful work. I couldn't, wouldn't mind having some of her trash scraps. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I know. Uh, I know, right? Y'all go find, y'all follow her over on IG. Follow Ashley. Okay, so there's that. So now I have on this sheet, I could practice these little faces. Jane's over here, like, and you know, I might use a pencil. I'll probably use a pen and see. But, um, so she shows different jaw. So she has like she has like three different oval heads here. And then she shows like different jaw lines, like maybe um, kind of an oval one here. And here's like this would kind of more be like a heart-shaped face that has a pointier chin. And then this one has more of a square jaw. So she's showing you different ones. It says just drawing the jaw line in different shape will completely change the whole aspect of the faces you draw. Draw several ovals and experiment with different jawline shapes. So again, she has all different, you know, she just has little samples here. So you can use this. She has this one's more like a U. Maybe this one's more the pointy one. And then this one kind of has more of a square one. And then she, you know, you can draw the eyes and everything else. But you can do the little step out on this. And then you go, oh, okay, well, I like that. And let's see. And y'all know I'm, I like to do my five second faces and then you can just kind of, and I'm not following Jane's thing right here. I'm just showing you, you know, I might do this. I might just, you know, come in here and draw and just, you know, start what, by putting in some little eyes, you know, and here you go. And, and you know, find the jawline. She's, she talks about ears, I think down here. So you can kind of just follow her uh, tutorial thing here. And, uh, you know, maybe draw some of your own ideas, follow some of Jane's, draw some of yours, and then, you know, just kind of doodle and practice. You know, if you want nice big eyes, you can add big, you know, big eyes in the pupils and, you know, just play with it. So, but you have a, a sheet here, like a worksheet, right? And again, if you want to really, you know, d deep dive into some of the tutorials, you can take your, your page out of your notebook or out of your rings, and then you can go and work on it. Just, you don't have to work on it in the book. You can take it out of the book. Then you can always add, because these are ring bound, you could always add more, you know, more papers if you need more, um, if you need more uh, space, if you need more space. Thanks, Pacola, to do more more stuff, right? All right, so there's that one. Now, this is facing. I'm trying to keep them facing each other. So just when I open the book, I like it to look like they, they just face each other. I just like it that way. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to – I ran out of that flower, so let me go down here in my tapes. Hmm. I should close that window because um, 
probably hear all the truck noise. Okay, what is this one? Oh, this one says fruit up here. Let's put that one on here. All these girls here. That's a good one. This is, I think, an illustrated faith tape. Okay, so there's that just matches. I'm <laughs> picking everything by color. Okay, so now let's put some on the inside. There we go. So now this one has eyes. So if you want to get in here and you can practice, you know, just do a whole bunch of, you know, eye shapes just so you can do practice diff some of Jane's. You know, we're working in, this is Jane's book here. So, you know, she's got, uh, then she does her irises and she has the pupil. And uh, I'm just kind of looking at one of hers right here. So you can, you know, follow along the tutorials. And then again, after you do a few hundred different things, <laughs> then see how you can make it your own. You know, see how you can make it your own. If she has blue eyes, make yours green. If she has, you know, small lashes, make yours long. If she has whatever, you know, you could just, you know, play with it however you want. All right. So now this page faces that. So now we can go now the page to the next. Okay. And now we need another, another page here. Okay. I've got about 30, 25 minutes. I'm going to try to leave by 12. Hubster will come home. We're going to go have a salad So um, and before uh, Janet comes on at 1. So I like to try to, you know, eat lunch with Hubster when he comes home for lunch and then come back in time for Janet and uh, at 1. Okay, so now we've got these two pages. Again, now we're in the book. And, again, it's still all attached because we just cut the whole block. We cut the whole block out of the book. All right, so now let's see what we got. Uh, this and I like this and I don't really want to cover up because I'm going to want these two to go together on the next painting so these are the last two that with the little drawing tutorial things here so I'm going to want these two facing each other right so again if the side that is going to have the tape or the side that doesn't have the tape I, I'm trimming off the little um rough edge where I tore it out of the book. And as you're going through, as you're going through the book, if you're not cutting it with the knife, keep moving this out of the way, the, the glue and the threads and all that. Keep kind of taking that and, and pulling it back. That way when you tear it out, it'll tear straight and not go, you know. So just kind of keep moving this out of the way. Or eventually you can start cutting this with the scissors. Just cut that off so that now when I tear the next page off, it'll be tear out smooth. All right. So, all right. So now we got these two pages. All right. Like this. I'm going to see something over here. Oh, I still have. Okay. So if y'all know, um, I've, I've been piling up some of the giveaways. I might just pick this a person by random um, rather than do an actual number giveaway. But um, I think what I'm going to do, because I have stuff sitting over here um, that, I, you know, because of the virus, we haven't been able to do as many giveaways. Although I, ha I have been trying to keep up with the books. Okay, here's some, uh, I like this um, little... Um, sky it just kind of goes with the you know because these are underwater so we'll have the sky and the underwater so i like these little uh oh see look what i just did i just tore jane's book <gasps> don't tell her let's just take that back and shh. <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna take a piece of scotch tape let's tape that back together <laughs> Okay, so now when we open this, uh oh, I, I missed a section. Let's go ahead and take that in. All right, so now when we open this, take your time. Don't look away at chat when you're doing this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I got that a little too far down. You can't have your tape 
well, that one's okay. But if your tape goes over the edge of the book, you can't open it. Do you know what I'm saying? It won't open. So you can't have your tape block the book from opening. All right, there we go. <laughs> Hi, Scrap Girl. Anybody else I missed? Rochelle, good morning, Dee. Can I stay on my way to the Dodgers just once? Oh, thank you for stopping by and giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay, these two are facing each other. So let's put, again, that they can open this way, and you can work on those pages. So... And it doesn't have to go right to the edge. It doesn't have to go right to the edge, but you want a good amount on there so that you can open and close and it's not going to fall apart on you, right? All right, so now these two are facing each other. All right. Okay, so let me see here. You know what? I think we're going to go. I, I don't want to go with uh, somebody that we, hmm, Scrap Girl, have I ever sent you anything? I don't think I've ever sent you anything. Scrap girl. And you have to be, is it okay, you know, if I pick you to, for a giveaway, you have to send me your address. A lot of people they may not want to send me their address, although I do not share your address with anyone, not even my mods. And I do not put you on a mailing list. Would you like a surprise, Scrap Girl? Scrap Girl 12. Would you like um, would you like a uh, giveaway? I'm not. I haven't shown it yet, so you don't even know what I'm going to send you. <laughs> so I do have a little stack of stuff that I've been trying to get. You know, eventually give away to people. So scrap girl, yes. Okay, here's my email. Here's my email, so you can email me. Okay, so scrap girl, because we're doing Jane right here, I have one of these left that I got it Tuesday morning. A while back, uh, I already sent. I had I had two, and I sent. I gave one away. So this is the Jane Davenport pastel. It's like um, pastel and creamy pastel, and it has. I think there's maybe one of the little things missing there, but anyway, it's got a little case. It's a little case. It's like a little case, and uh, so I'm gonna send this to you, Scrap Girl. You have to email me your address, okay? So there's a little thank you, a little thank you for being here. Like I said, I think one of the little the little puff, you know, the little puffy things is gone. But other than that, I get, again, I got this. It's for these. It's the extras for that. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Scrap Girl anything. So we're going to we surprise people with new, newbies. We like to surprise newbies. So that's going to go in the outgoing. And uh, I do have some other things still to give away. I got a couple more books up there. I got some uh, stamps that I'm holding over there. So I can send something like that. I can send international. When it comes to books, though, guys, remember, when I give away books, I can't do international. It's too expensive. And uh, some countries aren't even getting them. So, uh, But I, I can send art, happy mail, art cards, something small like that. I can do stuff like that international. So that's no problem on international, something like that. I just can't do the books any longer. Uh, the last time I went to mail a book and I'm talking, you know, I said, well, can send a book, right? The cheapest. Oh, well to Germany, that's going to be $25. And, you know, it was just crazy. It's crazy for books, even with book rate. Okay. So let's finish this up. Let's see if we can do a little something, something here. All right, so these two open up this way. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is like a little singing girl. So she has little two, let me just do one of the little steps. So she has six little steps. So she has the little, she has the little head just by itself. And again, I'm doing it in pen, but you know. Then on the, all right, so she has six heads. Let me just put the six here so you can see. Has six steps. Of course, you can do it all on one. <laughs> you can you know, do all the steps on one head. But I'm just showing you. So if you want to practice some ovals, and then she has the little ears. She has kind of low ears because her head's tilted up, right? And then she does the jawline. So on the next one, you can do the ears and the jawline. 
then she has the ears and the jawline and a big O for a smile, a open, you know, she's singing. See, because then we get down here to the other 12. <clears throat> so you're, you're if you do a whole bunch of them, you're repeating. And she has the mouth open. So it's good practice. So even if you do a whole bunch instead of just one, So you see, <laughs> you just follow along, or you can just do one bigger one, you know. So she's got all the steps here. And then as you're doing it, you might think of some ideas like, you know, um, singing. She could be in the opera, or you could think of, where do people sing? You know, they sing. They sing. She could be in the opera. She could be in the shower. <laughs> She could be in the park walking her dog. She could be a teacher and she's teaching, singing. She could be singing, just singing to our kids. You know, start making, you know, start making your own little lists. Start making your own little list where, you know, what could be going on. Make up a story. While you're drawing, you're, I'm sure your imagination is running to other you know, where, where could this be? What kind of setting? Or, you know, it could be, she could be a little, a fairy in the forest. Could be a fairy in the forest. Of course, it could be the mermaid too, because that's what the book is. She could be a mermaid, of course. You know, but why is she singing? Why is the mermaid singing? Is she sad? Is she happy? Is she going to get married? I mean, did, you know, some some stupid merman leave her and she's happy? <laughs> you can make up anything. You know, you can make up anything. So the thing about having it like this is now you can do these pages, but you can also, you know, put in extra pages. And it, it doesn't even have to be, it doesn't even have to be a full, full page. You could just put in uh, because it's on the inside like this right so if I wanted to let me just get the sample something something as a sample let's see okay well here is my practice sheet for the, the the other thing it could be you know um let me trim it down just a little though this was just I wanted to do a little sample before I did the uh cc thing okay so let's just say you wanted some more well now all you have to do is punch your holes punch your holes and add another sheet in here so now this can go this way and so you have plenty of room to add more information you know what i mean Vern? so there's just ways that you can add more pages when you have a binder system or a ring system all right, so now this one's going over here. This one's flipping over. And now we have the next two. Do we have time for these last two? And then we're going to probably head out. And uh, so, yeah. I hope you can use that scrap, girl. If not, then, you know, oh, I'm glad. If not, you know, anytime somebody else. Okay, so now the news. Let's see here. Um. Okay, so this one and this one, I kind of like these together. I kind of like this together. So let's see what's on this side. So this is kind of how she does these pay, pay girls. But I think, do I want that in here? I think I'll put, because I like those showing too. But I like that. Let's see, do I want that covered up? Or I could just do this. I could do that. And then have this over here so I have all the faces showing. There's all the faces showing. Because then, the, then this is the last of chapter three. So I think I'm going to do it this way. This girl will be covered up. But that's okay because then I can put these over here. And this is the rough edge is going to have the tape. So I don't have to worry about cutting that down. And then this one I need to trim down. Because this is going to be on the inside. And it's really just a little teeny bit of, you know, the, where you've torn it out of the book. You don't even really have to do that. But I'm just doing it just so I can show you. Okay, so I'm going to have those facing each other. 
So now on these, I can get out because I have the Jane paints in her flesh tones. I could swatch out all of Jane's flesh tone paints in there. I might do that if I have time. Okay, so let's see what washi tape do I want for these? Let me look in my bowl here. Let's look in this bowl. I kind of like these little hearts. Let's go with these little hearts. You know, Jane uses uh, hearts as a kind of a template for you to do her bodies. All right, so now I'm going to put tape here. Uh-oh, see, I did it again. I'm pulling off the tape. <laughs> I'm pulling off the tape, and I, well, there's nothing on there, so I'm going to throw it away. But um, you got to be careful because you rip off the page. page. All right, so I'm going to put some in the middle. Go tear that easy. Tear it easy. Okay, and then on the back. All right, there we go. So there's those three pages. And then this one on the outside as well. We'll put the hearts. Okay, and then... So, and we're only up to page 48 or 9, something like that. So out of, okay, yeah, about, we've done about 48 pages and there are 142. So you can see we're only a third of the way. We're a third of the way through the book. <laughs> and we've been at it for an hour and a half or so. Um, this maybe two. Okay, so real quick before we go to the end of this. So now I've got this on this page right and i've got her color so maybe on here i might want and i'll just grab a i think there's six flesh colors maybe more but i'm just gonna grab whatever ones i can quickly find i don't know there's five or six is that the same one let's see here. i don't know anyway here's some of her colors her flesh colors. There's probably more. Um, this pearl one will show up. And I don't even know if this came in that, that, that set. It's kind of a pearl. But I'm going to just put down. Get a baby wipe. Just to show you, you can swatch things. And <clears throat> I think there's one other pink or something. But I'm just going to squeeze out a little on my finger and just kind of swatch them. And by swatching them as well, once these are dry, you can go in here and test other color pencils, uh, test pen color pencils on top of this, just to see how what colors look good with it. Or again, I'm just picking. See this this one may not have been in the flesh kit. I don't have them separated out by what come came with what. Um, they're just all in a tray where I just pick out the color I want to use, right? But she does have a set of flesh tones. And they're very matte when they're dry. I was just so surprised at how matte they are. Because that's what I didn't buy them for the longest time because I thought they were going to be shiny. Um, I thought they are going to be shiny. Or have a sheen to them. And then if they have a sheen to them, you can't use color pencil over them. Hi, Kimberly. Anybody else I missed? Thank you, everyone. Tracy. Um, Tracy, you should have your happy mail maybe by today. Tracy won something last week. Oh, she won. You won an art card, didn't you, Tracy? I don't remember if you're out of, out of country, so it may take a while. But... Uh... <laughs> So I want this to dry. Now the pearl has a little bit of sheen. But all the other colors are very matte. Let me see if they have names actually on them. 
think they do, but maybe they don't. I was trying to see if they just had numbers, if they had names. Let's see. Don't think they do. <clears throat> I was going to make reference notes if they did. Hi, Elizabeth. Anybody else I missed? Okay, so again, you can use it as, a, you know, a, an area to do some swatching. And it could be, it doesn't have to be Jane's colors. It could be whatever skin colors you have. It could be, you could use your, um, you know, your markers and, and put down your skin colors in your markers. Just, just be aware, you know, if it's going to go through, you don't want to go through on another paper. So, you know, be aware of that. If you're using alcohol markers. Okay, you should, yeah, it, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, yeah, it should be there then in, uh, in the next day or so. Okay, so there you go. So now we have these two. And again, on this one, I could do um, her other colors, not her flesh colors, but her blue or green. I could put these colors in for like, if I want to do bright color hair. I could use this side for a sample. And again, if I need more real estate to work on projects, then all you have to do is just take another piece of paper, punch three holes in it, because it's going to go in your rings, right? All right, now we have, let's see what we got here so far. Then, then I'll flip this over, and I'll go into chapter four. I'll try to finish this up by Wednesday, so I can do a full flip for you guys out of the book. So let me go ahead and see if I can put this part together for you kind of quickly, just so you can kind of see. So I'm down on, I, I made it on part, I mean on hole number four here. And then hole number four here. And then this one is somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Let me just make a little. So I can put that in there. And again, you don't have to use this big of rings. I have smaller rings too. We'll just see. We'll see how um, how it goes by the time I'm done. If I want it in here in these big rings or if I want to move it down. Okay, so now let's flip it over. Okay, so again, what I did is I'm going and again, I'm going to cover this. I'm going to paint this. I'm going to paint this probably white so I can use some of the Jane tissue over that. Okay, so this will all be covered up. So I have the book, and then I have the end paper in here still. I punched holes in the spine. This will be covered up with the Jane paper. Same for the inside of here. This can be covered up. And now I've got, let's see if I can get all under here. So I have a couple of sheets here. This opens up this way, this way. And then these all open out. This one opens out. Uh, from now on, after these first two, I figured I wanted them to open out. So, but at, at first I put the contents and the, um, what do you call it, page, uh, intro page facing on the tape on this side. But after that, after the intro and the contents, I made them flip outwards. It's just easier to work. It's easier to work side opening out and I could take this off and just move the tape to the out. just so you know you can this let's remove this I could have saved it but and I'm gonna take this off so now this is gonna be on it's just easier to work on if they can flop, flip outwards, right? Let's get it centered there. If they can flip outwards, it's easier to work on. Like this. Especially as the book gets bulkier. As this gets bulkier, it's going to be easier to have it flip outwards. Okay, just FYI, a little piece of tape still there. So if you're going to use it as a workbook, then you probably want it to flip out. All right, so let's keep flipping through what we got done here. Again, there's a little bit of a glare, but all right, so now you can see this, this, so you can do the tutorials. 
Let's go this way. Again, this one has two sheets here. So you can work here. This opens up this, this, and onto this. This one has two sheets attached. A little swatchy stuff going on. And then this will go this way. And then we'll continue on. Because we still got, we've only done one third of the book. We've only done like 50 pages out of 150. So I hope you'll enjoy that. And also don't forget CC's. CC Creations or Creation by CC. Uh, we did a little ode to CC <laughs> in her uh, last tutorial. So if you want to see doodles and watercolor together, then that's CC Creations or Creations by CC. We did that little project earlier. So any questions or anything, guys? Y'all, you know, um, anything else you want to ask or add or... You're welcome. Hi, Jerry. By the way, Jay, Jerry, Patty L. Anybody else I miss coming in? Thank you to my mods, Pacola, Julie Topaz, Eileen. I didn't see Eileen today. Um, Julie, thanks everybody for um, giving the mod salute to the mods. And thank you, like people like Carla that are and Flo that are always so encouraging. Give her a thumbs up. Give her a thumbs up. And don't forget, guys, I think one day this week, uh, this week or maybe next, depending on when Comic Book Hut has time or whenever he wants, one night this week or next, we're going to do, I'm going to be over on his channel drawing with him. Um, it just because he is, it's just fun. So, um, yeah. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Don't forget, Janet comes on in an hour at 1 Eastern. And uh, so, I'll go eat a salad and meet her over at her because I mod, I mod on Janet's channel. So, uh, thanks, guys. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I'm, I'm glad y'all had fun. And thanks, Jane, for letting us deconstruct one of your books. Well, she didn't let us, but, you know. I bought it so I can do what I want with it, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.